Camp trips are infinity. You can use them as many times as you want. Uh, spells are basically once per day. Once you use them, they're gone. You have a limited amount, and you're a prepared spellcaster, so meaning you have to prepare those certain spells in every order, however you want it. You know, If you want to prepare one fireball, and the rest, I don't know, invisibility, you can. And as, let's see, where is it? Tinkle is a spontaneous caster. He can cast as many fireballs as he can, but he's limited to how many spells he has in his spell slots compared to like a wizard or a prepared spellcaster. And GM, I'd just like to point out that the cantrips, the cantrip that I plan to use, the Rear Admiral, it will be the horn of the little horn that happens to find. Mm -hmm. uh, gotcha, gotcha, out, gotcha. Yep, yep. Fart jokes, yep, kid jokes. Gotcha. So, let's see here. Mm, little recap. After Tyriel came back to the tribe to warn everybody about the incident that happened, that three fallen scouts, Eric, Veritas, and Pikes, you've gathered new members from Little Horn, the Minotaur. Tinkle, the gnome, and Cold Tooth and Gorsharg. Gorsharg. Oh, sorry, Gozrag. The summoner. Can you say that? Can you say Cold Tooth, Gosharag, Tyriel, and who? Little Horn. And Tinkle. You Tinkle. got it. Tinkle, yeah. Let me finish. Let, 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 let me finish. Let, let me let me finish this recap real quick before you go ballistic. Real quick, Tinkle do Joe. Is, is Tinkle the gnome? Yes. The little, the little guy is called Tinkle. Yes, and the big guy is called Little Horn. Yeah, that's crazy. So you guys gathered all your stuff in and went down to the cave to fight. The demon that lives here down here. And as you guys wandered around the corner, it was wearing the pelt of your fallen comrade, Veritas. As a snow leopard, it attacked you guys one by one, fiercely. But you chipped out each of his little furs to reveal what was underneath this monstrosity, the actual demon itself. You guys fought very hard using a lot of your spells, breaking your shields, and your will. But you guys managed to kill this creature with one last attack of electric arc. Burn it to a crisp, and laying waste within the piles with some valuable treasure. And after that, Tinkle continued on to a gigantic tunnel full of moss, and found out that this moss is just not regular. It's brown mold, dangerous when you come close to it. it absorbs the heat, making it real cold, hurting you from the inside, from your breath to your lungs. And now you guys only have about 21 hours until the burning mammoths come. So you guys need to find a Secure a good tunnel for the mammoths, large people, small people, the kids to go to. Make sure it's safe, no danger, and that's it. Any questions? Boss, who's infected? Uh, um, I want to make sure the party know that I, I, I relayed that information about the uh, tunnel that I'm in and I'm exploring. And I just have a question. Um, for my old party, are there any, I don't remember if I asked this last time, so I'm asking again, just to make sure. Um, was there any items left on our other party members that died that we may be able to repurpose, like potions or weapons or anything? Like that? That's a very good question. Let me see. Yeah. Everybody roll me a perception check. Perception? Yep, perception. See where you guys can find all this loot and stuff. 
Because you already noticed that there's not just piles within just the characters itself. They look like they've been stripped of their clothes and gear. Nice. Okay. Cool. Tariel, you notice that at least some of your stuff is in the pile next to you with a dead carcass. Let's see. Do, 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 do. And a cold tooth, too. But you can see that there's some footprints leading straight into the water. But it doesn't look to be like the demon's hoof footprints, but of a man. And the loot you guys find is... No gold. Uh, oh, it's Twinkle. Wait, Tinkle or Twinkle? Twinkle. Twinkle. Okay, I missed the W. Sorry, on your name on here. Yeah, let me see. He just added it. Okay. Hey, I'll keep it. Let's see. The only thing you guys do not have is a healer's gloves. Everything else is can be grabbed from the carcass of this one animal. But like it's just piles and piles. Which is your stuff. Yeah, everything so mm -hmm. all, everybody's inventory that they had on them is still there. Seems to be the only thing that's not there is just the armor that's broken up and the weapons are scattered somewhere else. Damn, uh, since I have so some, uh, that. well, I have well skilled in crafting, can I uh, craft myself a, 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 another? And the pup wonky fur is gone. What? No, I, I, I don't have access to my other character stuff anymore. You, uh, I yeah, should. Other, uh, okay. Let me see. I'll copy and paste it. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Gotcha. Candle cap. Repair. Oh, yep, putting in the chat. A spell book. That's a rusty sword and strawberries. That's from you. And I'm putting in. There you go. Next person on the list. Yep. What's the question, little one? Um, I'm trying to find out if I can use that uh, hide of. If I could use his hide to mend a new shield, because the last shield I had was broken. You're talking about the demonic creature, right? The one with no skin, no fur? Correct. There is no hide that you can take from this creature to make a shield out of. All that is just flesh. There's <laughs> bone. There is, there is bone. So you could fasten probably maybe a bone shield. Bone shield? Yeah. No, uh, the candle cap. I don't have the candle cap because um, this is a Tyrell. Oh yeah, Tyrell. Yeah, Tyrell has the yeah. candle cap. In this pile, looking for pikes. Oh, he does have a. Okay. Little horn, you do find a low grade shield. It seems like it was from pikes. And one elixir of life. That's the only thing you can find off that. Veritas. Let's see. Oh, you don't have involved. You don't have. You don't have much. What kind of shield did I have? Low graded shield. It should be. Scroll down in the chat. You can also look it up in Google too. And torch. 
Okay, Veritas, your healer gloves is gone, rations are gone, but you still have your healer's tools and torch. That's from his pile, and Tyriel is good. So, yeah. I even caught. And I will put this in the party loot just in case nobody grabbed them. Yeah, I grabbed I grab the stuff that was from my character, so that okay. is in my inventory now. Gotcha. Cool. Okay, so low grade, low grade cold iron shield has hardness of 5 and 20 HP. Mm hmm. That is what you have. Make sure you copy and paste that on your character sheet. And double checking, did you guys grab the, what is this, room seven? And a steel, okay, who grabbed the steel mirror? Anybody? I didn't grab it. Ooh, what's that? I didn't grab any. Hmm? It's just a steel mirror. Yeah. Why? A steel mirror? Yeah. Um, cool tooth detected okay, magic, and it's just, in. it's not magical. I'll put it in my backpack. Okay, gotcha. Uh, there was a rune. Let's see. Coltooth identified it as a... Ooh, cool. Sure players. Ghost touch rune. Somebody got it, or you're just telling us? Hmm. Somebody has the gold to, was it gold touch rune? I will put it in your party loot. You can't put it on to anything okay. right now. Okay. Did anybody already like grab it here? It will take a whole day of downtime to put it on. Oh, which means we basically will never be able to put that on. Not until you get to a place where you can well, put it right on. Now. Yeah. It's not right now. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. I like the. Here, but we'll see. Okay, all right, let's keep going. All right, cool. So, let's see here. Twinkle is walking down there. All right, you guys have full control over your characters. You guys are on the cave map. If you're not, tell me. If you don't have vision, tell me. Yes, I am on the map. Cool. It's just me yep. and Little Horn. Who's mm. just down here? That is Twinkle. Oh. Mm -hmm. Everybody's exploration activity is all searching. Cold Tooth is detecting magic. Okay. So, whoever has the light, go for it. All right. Twinkle. Yep. Yeah. Mm hmm. See what I can see. I'm moving, and my vision isn't. I can't see anymore. Than I did before. Okay, you do have low. I'm just testing it. Mm -hmm. I'm not using a mouse tonight, so. I... Using your, I guess okay, the. Okay, okay, okay. That's it. No, somebody. No, move. yeah, somebody move. Okay. Tyrell has the cap. Yeah, I'm trying uh, okay. to get to him because he's he wants and... to. No, I, the light. no, I'm, I'm trying. To... I'm trying to see what I can see. Because my vision's not changing. Oh. Oh, it's cool. You want me to like move out of the way? Oh, no, that's fine. See? No, it's fine. It's fine. Mm. Your vision's not changing? Mm. Uh, no, it is. It is. It is. Okay, because is. Uh, yeah, when I see your vision, it looks like it's changing to me. Yeah, it's changing. Okay, right, cool. All right, so. Can you stay on uh, DM? Yeah. Yes. Um, I got for uh, a weapon underneath a uh, shield. Mm -hmm. boss. I, I know shield boss. Is that, is that all? Oh, that that yeah, you, that is that is gone. That is broken. That was your shield earlier. You don't have that anymore. So what do I do? Oh, uh, you can keep it until you get a shield boss back, or you can just delete it because you can't use it anymore. Because now your shield only does damage as like your punch, so it does like one d four. Boss shield does a one d six, so. I say just keep it for now. In case you still want to use your shield, we'll just roll a 1d4 instead of 1d6. Okay, because I 
I was gonna ask you, like I got, I picked up a low grade shield, so what mm -hmm. do I do? Do I just add the low grade shield? Yeah, you add the low grade shield to your hardness and to the shield option up top. So it should still give you a plus two when you raise the shield, and it should give you, it should have 20 what? health and a hardness of five. Like 20 seconds, 30. Wait, what? Cool, all right. Is that, is that, going, that goes under weapon? That would go under... Let me see. This should be on the front of your character sheet. Uh, should go under AC. And it should say shield. I would like to give Tyrell the light. Yeah, I have light. Yeah. Hmm? Okay. Tyrell already has a light. Uh, Do you? Tinkle? Okay. All right. Where are you putting it at? Like his hat, or just sword. Okay, I guess his hat. Okay, gotcha. It matters in case something happens. I used to put it on a coin and then put it in my mouth and then use it as a flashlight. Wait a minute, did you put that on my hat? Yes. Why, thank you, kind sir. So, wait a minute, why? Okay, so. Uh, uh, I have the sword stealer underneath there. That was broken, so how do I remove that and add the shield? A little great shield. Okay, let me see. Give me a second. Give me a second. That should be 20. Cool. Okay. Go on your character sheet. Open I like to take a shower. No. All right, now I'm on your character. Sheet. So how do you put your thing on the shield? So yeah, you're on the first page. You're on the shield. The thing that says show stealer, you would change that name to low grade shield. Yeah, show stealer. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, so when uh, am I under my armor class doing that? Yeah, you're under your armor class doing that. This is your shield part. Okay, under armor class, I see, I see shield. Am I editing that part? Yep, I am editing it for you right now. Mm -hmm. That'll be five, and bonus is two. Cool. Okay, and HP right now to it is 20. Because Pikes never used it. All right, cool. You are good to go. Now when I look at Shield Boss, should that Shield Boss change? Yeah, I'll change the damage to it right now. Shield boss, it doesn't have it, just doesn't have the same effect because I don't have shield. Yeah, we won't do the same damage, right? Right, so yes, cool. All right, that's it. All right, let's see here. Twinkle, roll me a perception check. Yes, I don't. What happened when I Excuse me. Yep, sure. His health is always changing for some reason. I don't get it. Is, is he adding? Right. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, you don't notice anything. It just seems like more tunnel, more rock. Oh. And Cold Tooth, roll me a reflex save. Hey. Twinkle, roll me another perception check. Reflex. Oh, never mind. Four to save for Cold Tooth. Oh, for me? Nope. Four only for Cold Tooth. Four to save, and you roll a perception. Is he doing this because he's exposed to the moss? That's for cold tooth, yes. Got too close, and the moss is 
attracting a bunch of cold air. Or sorry, all the hot air and turning it cold. Success, you only take four cold damage, cold tooth. Mm -hmm. So staying in that area, you'll probably take more. So you probably want to step out. So if I step right here, it's fine? Yep, you are fine. Nothing happens. Okay. We have to get rid of this mollus. Okay, and for Twinkle... Yeah. Okay, gotcha. You notice a loose rock that can be removed. From the left corner of the tunnel. Yes. So we're talking on this side right here. On yep. that side? Yep, that side. A rock that can be removed. Yep. Loose rock. And, uh, can I do a perception to see if it looks like a trap of some sort or if it doesn't look like a button? Sure. Roll me another perception. Hmm, there doesn't seem there to be any mechanisms on this rock. Just seems like it's carved out to be removed in and out. Oh, I, I remove it. All right. When you remove it, behind it, you find a vial of poison. Thirty gold pieces. Oh, sorry. Thirty gold worth of shiny stone and a talisman <laughs> could be crap and I will put it in a party loot unless somebody wants it oh okay so yep here type this into your chat Other than that, you guys can move where you guys want to move. And Twinkle, knowing that you're moving down here, it's just normal space. You're a small creature, so you can just move through here. Anybody who's bigger, it's difficult terrain. Anybody bigger than that, it is greater difficult terrain. DM, is the uh, effects of the uh, moss, is it continuous or just a one time? Um, you seen Twinkle go through it, and he got attacked, and then Coltooth went by it, and he got attacked, so it looks continuous. You can do a recall knowledge check to see. Yep, nature. But I gotta roll. Nature. Nature or survival. Nature or survival. Gotcha. Cold tooth knows nothing. Little horn. Might know something. And we're waiting for Tyriel. Gotcha. Little Horn and Tyriel, you notice that you can get rid of this thing easily if you use some something long like a stick or maybe a sword and try not to touch it as much. But it will require still a survival check. And if you have to be trained in. What about um, using the rapier? The rapier and trying to move it out of the way? Yep. You have to roll a survival you, check for that. You have to come to me. It's in my inventory. Oh. You got to ask? Um, let me just check real quick What's if I have anything. Uh, my, my, um, I was trying to see if I had anything else before I have to make that move all the way to you. Um, I don't. So I guess I do have to make that move my to base, you. So let me my, see where you are. Base, um, has reach on it. I have reach. Yeah, you can do it. It will require a survival check, though. Survival check. Uh, 
19. Yes, you safely removed one of the moss. Which one do you want to remove? Where is it at? I don't know if you can see it on my screen. Right here and here. It should be, yeah, it's visible. Okay, I see. It says hazard, right? Yep, hazard. Okay, so I need to remove one. Yep, with that check, you remove one. Which one do you want to remove? I'll remove, I'll remove this one. Gotcha. It's gone. Does it, uh, DM, does that make it uh, passable on one side of the cavern? Uh, for your size, no. There's still two more over here, but Twinkle recognized. But this place is filling with moss, so there might be still more lurking down in the tunnels. Uh, I have to know a real no survival what? to get rid of the other two. Yep. If anyone, if, I, well, yeah, yeah. if anybody else wants to help, roll survival. Roll survival. Can I roll it again? Yep, you can roll again. Success. That's another one gone. Okay, that's for Tyriel, Little Horn. Roll me a 4 2 save. Oh, hero point. Roll it. Nope. Okay. Well, roll me that forward to save as you try to carefully try to get the moss over, but some of it, uh, you can't get it all off. This is rigged. There's no way. Got in his mouth. Got in your little nostrils, and it is seeping a little bit of the hot air, making it cold. Nice. Okay. Success. You only take half of this, so forward cold damage. Funny. Yep, only four cold damage. That just goes to your normal health. All right, you guys got uh, a few more. Oh, okay. Yep. Success. Success. Tyrell, roll me a perception check. Nice. Venturing down here, as you try to go remove the last one that you can see, you notice that there is four more spots. Which, direct, which way am I going? Yeah, Towards the mouth. I'm about to show you down the tunnel. Down here? Okay, I just want to make sure I'm removing stuff, but I'm going in the right direction. So, keep going or just stay where I'm at? Hmm. Stay right here. Wait. Right there? Yep. Oh, okay. Sorry. Thank Removing. You. Okay, you got four more. So. Okay, four more. Mm hmm Four more. Success. Success. Wow, you haven't failed one. What is your survival on? Success. It's not rigged. Don't tell me. And success. Okay, wow. Go ahead. You're, you are an expert scout. Gotcha. You have safely removed oh, all the brown mold and you have secured a safe passage for your people. Come on now, team. So nice. You guys got two good safe passage. Well, one C. One, two. Yep. One, two, four. The entrance. Take it to the roulette table. Roulette table is calling your name. Hmm. All right. You guys can continue. Well, all right. I'm going back this way. Gotcha. So far, anything. No. Ah, there we go. Description. Wait, stay right there. On the wall is a mold of dried flowers and cave paintings depicting a bald pregnant woman wearing a crown of flowers. She carries an infant in one arm and a mammoth 
calf in the other. And that's what you see, Twinkle, in this room. And that's just a painting on the wall? Yep. What is this stuff right here, can I tell? That stuff, I was confused too, let me see. Unless that's where it's at. Oh, I think that's the dried flowers, blah, 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 blah. blah. Okay, yeah, that's where the painting's at. Okay. Let's see. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Roll me a perception check. Nice, pretty fast. This is for Twinkle. Amidst the dried flowers is an odd emerald and a clay bird figure worth five gold. A bracelet worth two gold and a bee necklace worth one gold. And some elk you know figures that's worth ten gold. And I will put that in party loot. Before I forget. Alright, stop you two right there. As you guys are Splitting up, Scooby Doo style. Let's see. We're not splitting up. He's gonna meet us in this corner down here because he sees the light. Hmm. Yeah, I can say he can see the light. You guys are yeah. there. Yeah. Let's see. I don't know. Yeah. That was the plan earlier, but okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah, okay, nope, you guys are good. This In this room is just a cliff that is 30 feet. Oh, 70 feet high. Wait, to our wait, wait, well, I To right here. here. Well, wait. To the north cliff. So I, oh, down here, it is 70 cool. feet. To so here, it is 40 feet. You talking about going east? Nope. Well, wait. Yeah, east. East is just a giant cliffside. Okay, well, I'm scared, and so I have my listening ears on. So, do I need to be in stealth mode or something right now? You do need to roll me a perception check. Everybody who's searching, roll me a perception check. So, cold tooth, no. Gosser rag, yes. Here, drink some Gatorade. Uh, twinkle, no, you're good. Okay, let's see here. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, looking for a little horns perception. And Tinkle, you are in what mode? Oh yeah, you're right. You're in defending mode. What? I'm in defending mode. Gotcha. Yes. Yeah, and I just told you I was scared. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I gotta go back and forth through these rooms and scrolling here. Twinkle, let's see here. Because we separated ourselves. Yeah, but let me see. Ah, Twinkle, the cliff to your north is only, sorry, south. How high is this? Oh, okay, I guess you're just five feet up. So you just need to make one climb check. Okay. That would be athletics. Acrobatics is for balancing. 16, you don't get a foothold, and that is a failure. You're close. There you go. 21. You get your little tiny feet up there. You don't do it in style, but nobody saw you. Um, that painting, does she, does the pregnant woman, does she look beautiful? Is it a beautiful painting or is it just an ugly fruit thing? Uh, I think I actually have a, I think I actually have a picture. Hey, it doesn't mean he can't have the hots for a lady. Let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay with baby booties on. Let's Where is? Oh, hmm. I thought they actually had a picture. Let me see. Got a little, got a little baby, you know, baby cap on with his little baby jacket, and his little little baby booty shoes. Mmm. Player's handout. Little shiny, little shiny buckle that could go around maybe like a an ankle or something. Nope, currently don't have a picture for it. 
I swear I did. Is there no? Nope. Okay. Well, yeah. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna play my tune a little bit and make a little song about the beautiful pregnant maiden walking on the wall. Nobody knows where she's going or why she'd come. Hmm. <laughs> why do you want to investigate what the lady is? Nice. Yay, nay. Is that a diplomacy check? That will, that, no, that is a religion check. Religion? Well, guess what, my friend? I got no bonuses in religion. But he's going for it. Up, oh, DC was 17. You have identified this as a shrine to the mother of all, a Kelid representation of the goddess Fendura. So, what is a baby calf mean? It was that. My man. She's well, basically she's the god of, of, of birth. Goddess of birth. Okay. Well, why she carrying so it? I'm singing a tune to the, the, the goddess of birth. And mothers. Yeah, goddess of birth and mothers. Anyone who wants to be pregnant, they call this goddess the baby, baby, mama. Gotcha, gotcha. Baby's, baby's mama, no drama. I don't think that's gonna. Baby's mama's mama's. Baby's mama's mama's. He's singing his little tune, going down the hallway. And as he does that, you guys do hear some flapping in the wind, like a bird. But you hear stone being ripped, the walls like it's chalk. I knew it. I knew it. And some creatures start to fly out. I knew it. I told you I was on defense. Let me see if I have a picture. I knew I was on defense for some reason. You this were searching. You weren't defending nothing. I was on defense. No, I said, I said, hey, I'm really, really scared. I'm really like, you know, on, I'm being cautious. Three big stone-like creatures like with grotesque wings and horns fly at you with their javelins as they point oh to you. Oh intruders! Intruders! Everybody, roll for initiative. Yep. It's with you guys and Twinkle. Oh, because I was going to say, Twinkle's in trouble! Should roll for initiative. Yep, roll for initiative. I think the like a, a brother to the monitor. The monitor? Minotaur. Minotaur? Yeah. <laughs> I said Minotaur? You said Monitor. Uh, like yeah, the like... Monitor. The whole Monitor? I mean, that's close. Minotaur and the whole Monitor? <laughs> Alright, first one up is... This guy. Hmm. Oh. What do you need? Yeah. So if anybody's attacking me, I need to claim a reaction. Claim a reaction? From what from what, from what angle is he coming at us? Where, where they are forty up? feet up from an angle of thirty five feet from you. And this creature. Feet. You can see 35 feet. You can see 35. I can't see 35. Feet. Do you have dark vision? Yeah. Oh, you do. Yeah. So you can see 60. You see the creatures right here. A little dim. Well, you have dark vision. So wait. If you have dark vision, you should be able to see more. Let me see. I mean, me and Gosserak also have dark vision. So, you know. oh, okay. How far you guys can yeah. see? Yeah, How what's up? How far can they see? Oh, yeah, dark vision. If it's 25 feet. Oh, can you see now? 
You should have 60 I, feet. I see, I see them in the dim, in the dim, in the distance. But my question is, is mm -hmm. this. They must can see past 60 feet. Oh, yeah, they can see past 60 feet. Okay, so how far can you see now? I've changed it up. I barely see the images, put it that way. I, I see the images, but I barely see the images. Hmm. Why is that? I, am I, am I, yeah, you should have I, night vision, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I, probably because it's red, maybe? Let me see. Dimming. There we go. How's that? They're 30 feet. Well, one is 30 feet. That one's 30 feet. The other one's 35 feet. And you said they can see past 30 feet. Okay, so now can you see them? Yeah, no, no. I, I, I always could see them. I mean, oh. It's just like they're, they're, they're hidden, kind of. You know what I'm saying? They're in the dim light. Oh, gotcha. Well, that's because there is light going on right now, and I think that's the way of the Roll20 how it's doing. But as this creature flies up and says, now can we say no, no, no? How many are you? Yes, yes, yes. Swiper no swipe. No, no, no. We're just trying to make a safe passage through. We're being followed. People are trying to kill us. Hmm. And who's they? Burning mammoths. Burning mammoths. Never heard of them. But you are trespassing on our property. Yield now. Drop your weapons. Brothers, brothers, brothers. We're all in the same, same uh, boat. The tribe, the I am no and not know any boat. We're flying. Uh, we are all a part of the same flock. What is he talking about? Flock? Like where he's a bird. Oh, you didn't get the Drop your weapons <laughs> and surrender. And he will delay. Twinkle. Uh, there let's, you go. let's drop our weapon. Let's yeah, drop our weapon. Drop your weapons. Hey, Twinkle, okay. what are you going to do? Well, do I see anyone or do I just hear the commotion? You can only see up to dim light, up to... Oh, yeah, you can't see anything, but you do hear this going on. Okay. So you can't tell if they can see you or not. I mean, you uh, you have a giant light on you, so. Yeah. Well, am I high up in the air? What's going on? I'm on a ledge. Yep, you're on a ledge. Your ledge is how high is your ledge? Jeez, I gotta go through all of this. Was it sixteen? Ah, okay. Your ledge is southeast. That would be. Oh, okay. Your ledge is only twenty feet up. So you walk out here with your light and stuff. What light? I don't have a light. Uh, remember, Cold Tooth put a light on your hat. Well, why isn't anything lit up? <laughs> like, there's nothing lit up. You should be... Okay, let me see here. Vision... No, you do have bright light. Yeah, it says right there. Well, we don't see it on him, John. That is so weird. Bright light... Let me see, I can see more. Total light. But everywhere he goes, it is light. Vision do not see it. Okay, let me see, let me see. Maybe, oh, I think I think the problem is I need to change the color of it. If I change the color of it, you guys can see it. There you go, see? Technically, it is on. You guys just see... Yeah, well, you said I couldn't see very far. No, you can't see very far. Well, from here, I can see this number three guy. Number I can three. see this guy right here. Okay. And I can see this guy right here. 
Yep, you do have dim light oh, vision, so you can't see them. I can see them from where I'm at. Yep. And they can see you too. They're okay. looking at, they're looking at all you guys. Okay. Now, did we ever identify what that other creature was? What's the name? Uh Raru. R O R U. Talking about the demon. Excuse me, kind brothers. We have been chased through here by the the horrible wild rig, and we're just seeking safe passage through, so we can leave your territory. If you would just be so wait, kind, he didn't maul you. Just to point us to the way out. Well, he tried, but unfortunately, he met his own demise. Ah. <sighs> However, he signs. We just he's, want he just safe passage through, so we can. They killed Raw. He what? They're just speaking amongst each other. Who killed him? We just want to say. Um, I, it it was me. Our part, my party. <sighs> okay, that's it. Now you all have to die. That was our guard in the front gates. Well, you just put a target on your back. But you know what? We'll make an exception. We won't just all right kill you. We'll make you Use one the of them. Guard? Yes, we summoned him. Uh, oh, if there's no bargaining with these guys. Mm. Now we got to replace them with your souls. As I put my weapons up and I'm ready. I tried. Kill the fat cow first. Oh, oh sorry. Go on. What were you saying? If, we, if our party is capable of defeating your guard dog, uh, could we uh, negotiate our our role to to being able to uh, hold this passage secret? He looks confused. We would, only, we would only we would only let those of our own people pass. No one else. So you think you can just wander wherever you want, kill our guard dog, and just ask for secret passage? Not contribute anything. And we should just let you just walk by here. Um, I'm missing a cast invisibility. And then... <laughs> <laughs> do you even have enough spell slots for that? He does. Alright, it's on. Yeah, I have seven spells. You have seven. Seven, yes. How? Yep, I'm ready. I don't think... So. Let me see. One, two, three. He has three. He can only cast... Three, one, two, three. He's level four. He has up to five. I cast two suits. One Phantom Pain, one Fear, and I just cast Invisibility. I have six spells. Three. Spell slots or spells? spells? Spells. I have seven spells and seven spell slots. No, no, so that means he only I has. So that means he only has four spells left. They can cast. Oh. Because yes. you already oh, cast three. I have used none of. I've never never used a spell, and I have six. You haven't, yeah, you haven't used any spells yet. So you haven't even used any big spells. Yeah, but Gosha Rag, it is your I turn. Just, After this negotiation has gone bad. Okay. My bad. Let's go. Oh, well, when you put it that way. Oh. Let's see. Mm. I guess there's no other way. And let's see. Um... Hmm, let's see. No, no, no. I did just do that. And then let's do uh rally uh no. Alright, I will 
has act together. When you're in composition, and he has evolution surge and delay eat on to give it a plus 20 speed. Mm -hmm. uh, Alright, plus 20 speed. He has boost charge. Okay. I grab my shield. You know, by the way, you are aware that they are flying. So, oh, what does that never mind to that, then. What does that so mean? How far are they from the ground? They are 40 feet up. And we're on a cliff side, right? They are on the cliff side, so all that is difficult terrain trying to go up the cliff. Up, oh, wait, so they're so higher they're, than us. They're going to come down to us to attack. Yes. So they're higher than us. Check. Yes. Yeah, they got the high. They got the mm, high. This, yeah. This isn't down. This is up. Okay, so we're on flat ground. Check. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Check. Okay. They, they see me pick up my shield and my mace. You guys always have your weapons out. Okay. Okay. Uh, hmm. I don't know what I can really do. Uh, Ladies, gentlemen, shall we? Let's That's shall. I'm going to cast Protect Companion. Okay. And. Hmm, oh, and uh, I'm going to recall knowledge. Oh, okay. Okay. Roll me a. Nature check. Eighteen. Hmm. Success. These are indubitably gargoyles, monsters, creatures made of elemental stone. They hide being statues in plain sights of cities. What do you want to know about them? Mm, They're mostly used as guards. Resistances. Yeah. Resistances and immunities. Gotcha. Resistances. They are resistant to physical by five, except for antimanium metal. Oh. Okay. Even if you hit them with a magical weapon, it wouldn't. It would still resist it. If it's physical, yes. So what if I hit them with a magical fist? If you know what a magic fist? If it's physical, then yes. Which a fist is physical. It's not considered magic. No. You can hit it with a magical fist. As long as it's physical, it will take reduced damage. Okay. Right. That's one action. Panion. And you got one more. Unless you're doing act together. Uh. Right, and uh, uh, Goss will attempt a recall knowledge check. Gotcha. That is a failure. He thinks you're just just statues are just talking. Oh wait. Oh shoot! Wait, sorry. I, I'm, man, you know, that's fine, whatever, it's fine. All good? Yeah, sorry, I just realized that, you know, I had a, a spell that, you know, could, like, shoot from 60 feet, but, you know, I don't think from, like, this distance, I would still be able to shoot. You probably could from 60 feet. It's only 40 feet in the air, so we don't do the angle thing. 40 feet, 45, yeah. Little horn, your go. Yeah. Guys, uh, how, how, how up in the air? They're 60 feet in the air? They are 40 feet up in the air. You, can you recall my reach? Your reach is only 10 feet. So, this. You are 10 feet tall with 10 feet. So that would give you, if you so could hit the creature, it had to be 40 feet, 20 feet in the air. Right under, right under them. 
Does that make any sense? I can reach out to 20 feet, then? Yeah, if you're going straight up and down, then yeah, that's how far you can reach. You're 10 feet tall, and you have a 10 feet reach, reach range. Range of 10 feet, there you go. Make sure you draw your thing from your you token. Go. So this would be five feet, which is anything next to you. Yeah. Ten feet would be this much. It's still too high. Mm -hmm. Um, are these gargoyles GM? Are these gargoyles are they uh lighted by bright light? As you can see, they don't seem there to be squinting their eyes, just only in frustration. I mean, think about this way. If you ran, you're still going to have to come back this way. Or, yeah, so. Okay. Um. Shit. Yes, here we go. Um, I'm going to uh, storm the cliff and jump and jump to the, uh, climb the cliff. All right, gotcha. This will be difficult terrain. You only move 20 feet. So as soon as you pass the red line, everything, you, blah, your movement is, I guess, divided by two. So that's 10 feet. Um, well, I got to roll for what, athletics? Mmm, don't, let me double checking. If you're, you have to climb the cliff. Da, 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 da. Gotcha. Yep, okay, yep, you have to roll athletics to climb the cliff. Do you have combat climber? Because you have to use both hands to climb a cliff. Combat climber allows you to have one hand free. I do not have combat climber. That is something that I didn't know I needed. So I guess I'll have to put my weapons away. Yep. You want to put both your weapons away or just one? Well, you have to put both away. So I that would take. All right, yeah, that would take both actions. So moving up will take an action, and then putting both your shield, well, yeah, your shield and your flail away would take another. You okay with that? Yeah, I got to be. We got. There's only other way but to climb this cliff. Gotcha. Their turn. He is going to go charging at the cow. You're mine! And bite you. Or you try. 22. That is exactly your AC. So only 14 piercing damage. And then he... He came down. He came down and bit me. Yes. They have no range so weapons. That means he, so he's in striking distance as of now. Correct. But he is flying five feet above the ground. So yes, he's still in striking distance. He's five feet above the ground mm -hmm. of 60 feet? Oh, uh, nope. From where he is right now next to you. So I'm standing at the ground about to climb. He's come down how far? He's flew down 60... Five to sixty. 
He came all the way down to your next to your square, and he is flying right there, just five feet above the ground. So he's as okay. so basically he's at your height, which is ten feet tall. Yeah, he's at our. At my, that's why I was trying to make sure I understood. He's he's now come down from that ledge down to bite. Okay. Yep. Second attack was a claw, and that will be ten slashing. The hit was a twenty-four. That would be a total of 24 damage. All right, next guy. Let's see here. He's going to fly down all the way to Tyrio and strike. Bite in. Oh, he missed with that. Well, don't need to. He got a 15, and then he's going to... Fly right above you. As he dangles his little talons in your face. Last guy, he's going to fly down. Five feet in front to Little Horn and Jaw and Claw. 19 miss and a 13 miss. Tariel, your go. So he's five feet up, he's five feet up, and yep, everybody's five feet up. So change that, five feet. Okay. All right, yep. Tariel, your go. There's one right above you. All right. Um, so I am going to uh, now when when, um, Alex's name? Uh, 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 hmm? Question. Answer. What do you see in your chat? After I cast my invi invisibility, what do you see in the chat? I don't see anything. You didn't see my last action or not? Says, no, I cast a song, the protection song. Your first action was to stride up to see what was going on, and your next action was to cast invisibility. No, look at my location. I didn't move. I oh, okay. Let me see. I don't see... I see invisibility. I do see invisibility. I don't see... Yeah. Yep, I don't okay. see your next action. What was your next action? Okay. I don't it see anything the, else. The song of protection. Um, no, it's, it. it's not on there. Hold on. Okay, click it. Because if the range is only 60 feet, yeah. I guess it I could hit. You're only 20 feet up. So, yeah. Uh, Emanation. Yeah, it would hit everybody. 60 feet. Yep, 60 feet. Okay. Gotcha. It would hit everybody. Exactly, yeah. So that last one shouldn't have hit him, or what was it... Uh, over. I'm a fire to me jump going up to the wall. Let me see. Plus one bonus to saving throws and AC. The first one wouldn't have hit him, so that would be a 14. Let's go. He gets so, 14. yeah. So, Little Horn, get 14 HP back. You got saved from the Rally Anthem. Give you a plus one bonus to AC. Yeah, sing that song, boy. All right, Tyrio, you're a go. Okay. Don't you know so, me? Don't you know me? Um, did anybody do a recall knowledge? They did, but they didn't find out anything. They just thought they were rocks, right? Nope, that was Gosser Rag. Uh, Cold Tooth did explain. Well, Cold Tooth. Mm -hmm. They said they were gold, uh, uh, gargoyles. I, they were gargoyles. Physical damage. Hmm. Physical damage. Hmm. Sorry. Physical damage is really good. Yeah. That's why I'm like. Let's see. My spells. So all of my spells are. Okay. My cat trips are. Oh. Alrighty. I got one. <laughs> Wait, no, that'd be physical. Shit. <laughs> um, alright, I'm gonna try something. Here I go. Alright, what you got? 
I'm going to do boom. Ooh, spell strike. Okay. Which one? And well, I gotta cast thing me. in his claws. Got the thing in his claws right in front of me. Gotcha. Twenty five is a. It's a nasty hit. Who's the Jason Square? Blah blah blah. Gotcha. You sling an arrow right into his buttocks, and you hit him with a little bit of cold. Cold frost. He will take no piercing damage, but he will take the seven cold damage from the attack. As you can see, he's a little resistant to your bow, or arrow. Yes, he's resistant to the arrow, but not to the cold frost. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. You ha I heard is, it, is it common knowledge to know that gargoyles turn the stone into light? I mean, green light? Is that common knowledge? No, that is not common knowledge. But as you can is see that, but as you can see, they are not turning to stone when they see the light. So Yeah, but our our light is artificial light. It's not real light. True. You can try to recall knowledge to see if real light can actually do it. What about magical light? As you can see, they're in the magical light and they're not turning into stone. There you go. Oh, Tyrell, you now, do have one more action. Only thing you can oh, yep, you have one more action. Oh, uh, you spell only strike. Thing I can do is recharge. Gotcha. Recharge. Twinkle, you're go. You're invisible and singing your song. Come on, Twinkle, you got this. Well, I'm just gonna give it, uh, keep it up. Mm -hmm. right, go for it. Uh, I'm going to cast a. Uh, does my because it's my signature spell? Does my suit automatically auto heighten even if I'm using a level one slot? If you're a spontaneous caster, yes, you can change your level one spell into a heightened version if it's a signature spell. Okay, I'm gonna cast a two action soothe on our Minotaur friend. All right, level two version or level one? No, level two. It's always gonna be the highest level. level gotcha. Two. Oh, roll me two d eight plus ten. If you remember the bracket thing I taught you, you can use that for the spell too. Excellent. Well, I, I'm using it in, in, the, in the spell thing. I can't figure out how to, how to get that as an in there. It's all labeled as attacks. Or do I go under weapons and put it under there? I'm not sure which section. You You're probably going under the descriptions and put the two bars around the D2. Uh, sorry, 2D10 plus 8. Okay, even though it's, it's attack, everybody's going to assume it's the suit. Yeah. I mean, we know. Okay. Yeah. All right, so, um, yeah, you still need to roll the dice. 2d8 plus 10. He will get back 14 HP. Don't have to check for me. Hmm. 20 feet up. You're going to soothe. You would need to be on the edge of the cliff to see him. Because you're way back there. So you have to use an action to get up to the edge to sue them. They're at the bottom of the hill, right? Yeah. The cliff is 20 feet up. And you're all the way in the okay. back. So. If, if you say so. I will step up. If we say so. If he says so. He says I have to move up. So I'm gonna move Same with the raw roof. Oh, that's Cliff thing. That's my turn. Gazarag, cold tooth, go. Uh, Gazarag is on my turn. Yes. Sorry, just you know you supposed to say go to not Gazarag. Oh well, on the initiative yeah. it says Gazarag. So it looks like you roll for him. Instead of yourself. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, first. Uh, let's see. 
I'm going to attempt to demoralize uh, this one. I'm sorry. Yeah. All right. Demoralize this one. Gotcha. Roll for intimidation. You get a bonus if you got a good one. I got a I guess re-roll. All right, go for it. Oh, that was too far away. It's okay. My bad. I see what you're saying. Yeah. And also, I do have the, this. Intimidating glare. Okay, gotcha. Don't need to speak his language. Nineteen. That is a. Ooh, that is a failure. He just gives you a mean stare back. Mm -hmm. Plus two bonus to damage. Yeah, yeah plus two. Anyways, and the he is going to. Wait, are they still like in the air? Yep, they are still in the air. Five feet. And he's gonna beast charge to, the, to uh, this one. Alright, gotcha. That one is. Yep, that one will be above Tyriel. So, beast charge, go for it. 22 is a hit. He will take 11 bludgeoning damage. A little resistance, so minus that. Plus two. Oh, and plus two. Let me do that. Plus two. I'm sorry, wait, no, wait. Sorry, it's actually plus four. Oh, because you have striking hands, or what is it? Oh, yeah, because your fist is striking, so double dice. Yeah. Gotcha. So plus, wait, minus four, and then the resistance. All right, gotcha. What else are you going to do? You almost hit this guy out of the air. He is injured. Is that all your actions? Gotcha. Little horn, you have no weapons out. And you was about to climb the cliff. Climb the cliff, but they didn't came down and started attacking. So now, now I'm not even climbing the cliff. Now I'm taking out my weapons. All right, gotcha. Which one do I take out? Uh, I'll take out both weapons because I'm not even climbing at this point. Cool. Okay, that's two actions. Got one more. Take a swing at the guy that bit me. Hmm. Okay. Now with my uh, attack, with my uh, mace, the double strike, blade strike. That's two actions. Somehow. Yep, that is two actions. You're down to one. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna use a shield block, man. Okay, so you're gonna raise your shield. Yes, ma'am. Raise shield. Gotcha. All right, raise shield. Now yeah, you have your yeah. shield block reaction ready. These guys turn. Let's see. They're pretty smart. They're gonna. He's gonna fly over here for a flank. One jaw, one claw. Let's see. Twenty-one miss and a twelve miss, even with flanking. And plus, you have the raised shield. So, next guy. This one above Tyriel. It's going to try to do bite and claw at Tyriel again. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. 32. That is a critical hit. You'll take eight damage, eight piercing damage from the bite, times that by two, that'll be 16. And the second one is a 26. And yeah, that is 12 slashing damage. In his last action, he's going to fly over here above Little Horn, 15 feet in the air. I got one of the humans. 
Got oh, she's out. She's out. She is dying one. This guy that's flanking. It's going to do a jaw and claw. Oh, okay. 28. That is a hit. 17 piercing. Do you want to shield block that? Yes. Gotcha. So, your shield will only take 12 piercing damage, and you will take only 12 piercing damage because of the 17, you know, hardness, minus 5. And the second attack is a 30, and that's only 7 slashing. Oh, wait, did I roll the minus 5? Is that 24 altogether? Okay, that still hits, yeah. That would be 12, 7, 19. Yep. 19 damage total. That shield keeping you out. All right, Tyrio, roll me a dying save. DC 11. DC what? Mm, DC 11. Oh, roll me a 1d20. You're dying one, so the DC is 11. 19, you are stabilized, but wounded one. Tinkle. Wait, Twinkle. What you got? Can't hear a point that. What did I roll? Hold on, what did I roll? Oh, man. Oh, five. Okay, so 15. Yeah. Well, five, that is 12 plus eight. Uh, 2d8 plus eight, I'm sorry. D8 plus eight. Oh, wait, no, you're rolling wrong. You need to roll 2d10s. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah. There you go. All right, plus eight, that will be 22. So Tyrell, get back twenty-two, and you are That's my turn. good and ready. Cold tooth, your go, and you go above the person who downed you. There you go. Yep. My fajitas are so good. Fajitas. Cold tooth. Hoo ha ha. Like sorry about any meat. That was delicious. Together, mm -hmm. I get my act together. I am going to cast the electric arc. This guy, mm -hmm. all right. And who's the other person? Wait, why is that 14? Yeah, it should be bigger than that. Let's see, reflex. 18 and 20. I'm pretty sure the 18 failed because class DC's, last time I checked, was 20. But yours might be higher. Yeah, it should be 20. Okay, gotcha. So the first guy passed, the second guy failed. Sorry, first guy failed, second guy passed. 18, 20. Twinkle, it's not your turn, dude. He's just trying. No, I'm just testing. His heel. Just testing it out. Area. Fill out, man. Fill out. <laughs> it's like, hey, it's like I appreciate the enthusiasm, but you know. Wait, which one you hitting? Uh, this one. This one and, and who else? One. Gotcha. That one. So he'll take uh, half damage. And you can see they're not resistant to that. Yes. Like, in any case, and then Goss Harag will cast an electric arc. Ooh, two, okay. Same targets. Reflex, reflex. Fifteen and sixteen. Two failures. Twinkle, I sent you a message. 
between me. Okay, hold on. So one failure and second failure. They are both look injured. And the one flying really high looks badly injured. Okay. Alright, Little Horn, your go. Alright, now I'm gonna do my uh thermal blade attack. Okay, which target? Target to the south. Gotcha. Seems my screen uh, turns back. Log out back in. Alright, gotcha. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's up? What's, what's wrong? What's wrong? I can help. Need me help you fix your heels? Me? Yeah, you. Where you got it? Mm, no, I got it. Okay. I'm, I'm back. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm a hero point, Dad. All right, gotcha. You're down to one more. Gotcha. Okay. And second hit. Second swing. Cool. Okay. Are you doing one to the south? The first one hit, so technically you didn't even need to do a hero point, but you already did. Second one hit. So both of them combine the damage. And that doesn't, well, that does get past hardness. Other physical things. So you did a total of 14 and 10. That'll be. 24 damage. Every little bit counts. Yep, and knowing that is combined, you only need to do the resistance okay. one time instead of twice. So there you go. Okay. Nice. You broke a huge chunk of him off, and he is now injured. Broke like his leg off, basically. <laughs> ah, now I gotta glue that back on. Now I'm gonna raise shield. Smart. Oh wait, that is wrong. Roll me for roll me a one d four. Because remember, you're using your shield and your flail. When double slice happens, it is one weapon your other one and the other weapon and damage combined, not just the one weapon. Two. So I had to replace that. So right now he is only barely injured. All right. This guy's turn. Let's see here. From the north. Hmm. Jaws and claw. Twenty six and a thirty two. Ooh. All right. Thirty two. That's 12 piercing. He bites into a little horn's shoulder and little horn goes down. 
26 doesn't matter because the first one to hit and he's going to fly over to twinkle where are you and he's going to take a swing from the noise he's been hearing so that's a roll flat check though okay so that is a nat 20 but flat check DC 10 five okay nice so due to twinkles invisibility he miss Tyrio you are up but little horn has fallen so he is dying three. Oh well yeah because nobody healed him up later on uh, Tyrion should be called Tyrion's healed but laying down. Yeah. Oh, here you go. Yeah. I can't, I can't sit up. Lying you can. Down on the oh. job. Uh -huh. <laughs> Am I allowed to do, what is it, like battle medicine or something on him? You can. The only person who's been using all battle medicine is Twinkle, and everybody is immune. Okay. Everybody else is what? Everybody's immune, so you have not used your battle medicine. You only use your battle medicine on yourself. So you are immune to your own to your own battle medicine. Everybody else is not immune to your battle medicine. Okay, so I can go to him and do battle medicine on him, right? Correct. Okay. So I'm gonna do battle medicine. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. Okay. Roll me two d eight. That is a success. Nice. Little horn, you get back 13. And you have one more action. You have no weapon in hand. Oh, I don't. Um, inventory. When, um, the party loot question. I have a question about the party loot. Mm -hmm. I don't have anything in my hand. So there's right. something that I think that we have that's in the party loot, and I want to, like, grab it. Am I allowed to, like, ask for it and then like grab it that's a good question. good question somebody should have a bag of holding for it yeah but well, i don't think we've ever established that Wh who's holding it so okay well yeah, let's like, establish that now roll me a i'm gonna roll a 1d5 and that is the person who's holding the bag of holding so what we have to roll hmm? no i'm rolling a 1d5 left to right who's holding the bag of holding oh. Let's see. Three. Left to right. Colt Tooth. Gazerag. Well, Little Horn. And then Tyrell, because that's be the same person. So, yeah, Tyrell, you do have the bag of holding. Okay. So, my question is this, and now we have to, I have to go back on our notes. Um, do we have something that was like a sword or something? Um, Adam Adam Mamitin or something. I will tell you right. I, I will tell you right now that is a rare material. You guys do not have that. Oh, okay. I thought we had something that was um, a sword. Yeah. Okay. You guys do have. Let's see. Metal spear. Blah, 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 blah. Nothing that goes past their resistance. If that okay, what you were looking for. Oh, I'm just. I'm just gonna do the same thing I did before, which. That you know it helped so. Which is what? Um, wait, that's three. So if I hit spell strike, short bow, frost, red frost, then I'm good, right? Uh, let me see here. Those are two action spells. You have to use an action to get up. Oh, wait, never mind. I think that's all your actions. Get up, move over, battle medicine. Yep, that's all your actions. Well, damn. At least he's alive. Yeah, but you do have the bag of holding, which honestly also makes sense because you're the last person standing from the last one, so you should be the most trusted person. Let's see, this uh, this okay. guy's turn. But right before he gets his turn, somebody shoots a crossbow from this corridor. Hmm. And... What? 26. Who's over there? 
Nope, somebody else. Oh, and they don't pierce through the stone at all. And they hide back real quick. And it's this guy's turn. What the? Whatever. I didn't do anything anyways. Finish that little thing in the back. I'm going to take care of this ugly thing. And he flies down to Cold Tooth, five feet. You know what? Nah, he's going to get right above Cold Tooth. And do a jaw and claw. 20. That is a hit. 8 piercing. And 24 with 14 slashing. Next. So Cold Tooth needs to take away 14. Yep. Cold Tooth needs to take away 14, which goes with Gazarag. So they're both feeling the same pain. He's on his way. Gotcha. He's on his way. Cold Tooth, are you back? He's not hmm. back yet. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, there he is. Hey, Cold Tooth. Cold Tooth? Yeah. Cold Tooth. No, he's back. Alright, All right, what's getting me a Somebody's trouble. getting me a fajita. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Oh, no. I told, I told him that you were gone. My apologies. Right, this guy, he's going to a grab a little horn shield and fly away. Oh, it's ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous. Oh, my grab their loot while you got them. Grab the loot. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. Twinkle. Here you go. Any hostile actions you do will get you uninvisible or visible. These, these things I know. My spell count is six as I have it. Do you have the same? Before I cast this last one. You have cast two Sues, level two, and you cast Invisibility, which is a level two spells. So that's a total of six. So you have one more. All right, then my count is the same. I'm going to cast one more on our fallen uh, Minotaur fire. Sorry, I don't have a key uh, mouse. Oh, you're good. Take your time. 40 feet, that way there. Alright, 13. If you did it correctly. Let me see. Did you do it correctly? Yes, you did do it correctly. You just roll bad. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And All then right. I'm going to try to rally some courage. Gotcha. Bonus Plus one and bonus AC. All right. Little horn, you get back 13 HP. And that is the last twinkle spell. Cold tooth, your go. There's one gargoyle above you. Okay. Add together. I am going to step, and Gosarag is going to be charge. Gotcha. Smart thing you step. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, 24. That is a hit, plus the two damage. That'll be 14. Minus the hardness. Gotcha. He is still up. I don't think... Wait, that's, no, the two damage isn't going. Like, I didn't think I could extend it. Oh, do you have to keep casting that? Or does that... I thought that stays on for one minute. No, it's going around. I have to use the extender for that for the, for the rest of it. Like, I don't oh, have... extender. Gotcha. Okay. So, yeah, he gets back that, too. All right. He oh, is okay. near death. And then one claw attack. That one will be a miss. I'll re-roll. All right, go for it. Wow. Okay. Thank you for that hero point. Love it. Little horn. Your go. You're up. Gotcha. One action. This thing took your shield, so you do have your flail still. Oh, it took my shield. Yep. Uh, 
Okay, he's in, he's he's within reach still. I can still just hit him from where I'm at. Yeah, he's just flying above five feet, so he's like at your eye level. Right. So I can just try to swat him like a fly. Yep. Hmm. Keep him. You down to one more hero point. Alright, gotcha. No more hero point. No more hero recovery. 22, that is a hit. No good damage. And you swat this thing like a fly. You just raise your flail up in the air and smack him in between the eyes and splat. He breaks into a million pieces on the ground. What? Wait, what? I must have missed something. Hold up. I finally got a good hit on him. What did you use? My yeah, once he does that, I, I, even though I'm visible, I want to say, ha! ha, ha. One friend ran, ran away, and your other one fell to pieces. What are you going to do next, friend? <sighs> Kill this laughing little clown. You have one more action, little horn. Wait, let me see. Get up, grab weapon, strike. Mm -hmm. This guy. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Nope, right, this guy. Well, let's see. Kill you, take your stuff, you know, the normal stuff. And then give it to our leader. He's going to use a jaw attack. See if he hits. Ooh, a 30. Uh, he's attacking me. Yep, rolling for invisibility. Okay, right, DC 10, so he needs to buff a 10. Ooh, 17. Okay, he actually connects. He does 11 oh. piercing damage. I, I want to have a conversation. Mm -hmm. Just a real quick conversation with him. <laughs> okay, his teeth is bearing on you, on your arm. Ah, empathetic plead. Ooh, you are attacked by a creature that you haven't yet acted hostile toward. You must use this reaction before the creature rolled its attack. Okay, well we didn't read that part, but let me see. Attempt yeah, a diplomacy check against them. All right, roll a diplomacy. I'll give you a bonus if your plead was good. My plea is this: listen here, friend. As we said before, we just want passage through. You've already lost one friend, and your other one has gone away. Right now, it's three against one, and it looks like one of our party members is coming up with the rest of our group. You're outnumbered. Why? Why waste your life? Hmm. All right. Diplomacy, you say. Yep, diplomacy. A plus in. I'll give you a plus one on that against their will save. So that'll be a twenty-five. That is a success. On a success, it takes negative two penalty to damage on the strike. So. He feels a little empathetic, and he doesn't bite as hard as you think he would onto you. So you'll get back 2 HP, which I don't know if you took it off the first time, which yeah. is just 11 okay. damage. So you only do no, 9 bad. damage to you. Uh, <sighs> hmm. What else he got? He's thinking. He's contemplating. Hmm. He flies up. And he goes back with his other companion. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, mm -hmm. Expert in diplomacy. I might be an expert. Where'd it go? Nope, I'm just trained. Nope, not expert yet. I'll get there. He just leaves. He's like, mm -hmm. probably not worth it. You know, very confused about the point of this. He's like, oh, 
We were defending this place from trespassers. We need them. And that will end in that encounter. Unless somebody's going to chase after them. Uh, oh, you know what? Yeah, well, I mean, they are 40 feet up in the air. Let's see what Tyrell is going to do. Are you supposed oh. to see them? Okay. Oh, Tyrell can't see them? Yeah. Oh. And can anyone see them? Okay. Anybody with dark vision? Yeah, okay. okay, where are they? I'm looking What's at your my, vision. Uh, my vision is... Oh, that's why. You're the only person's vision I have not changed to do. There we go. All right, can you see? And let me double check. Hold on. Let me update yours so I don't have to keep going back in here. 112, because that is the max range of a ranger's of a crossbow. And that means I can't see them. Nope, that would be for only Little Horn and Cold Tooth. Anyway. Because they have dark vision. Anyways, I'll act together. Wait, let me see whose turn it is. I'll cast spray of I'll grasp frostbite onto uh, this guy. Oh, I thought it was my oh. turn. Well, it is Tyrael's turn, but you can't currently see them, so is there anything else you want to do besides pick okay, up your I bow? See them. I mean, I guess now I can because keep moving them away from me. Well, it wasn't your turn yet. No, I guess not because I, I don't know where they are. Okay, so Tyrael, boom. It would have been the gargoyle's turn. Which that one would have moved over here. Then it would be Twinkle's turn. Oh, okay. We're still in combat? So Yeah, Twinkle. apparently Cold Tooth wants to do something. No, that's not what I want to do. Right here. Or am I allowed to go there? I wanted to so oh. Check our oh, that over there, you okay. have to roll a acrobatic check to make sure you don't fall. So, yep. If you're trying to move that way, acrobatics. The cliff is very narrow. Where are we at? 18, 16, yep, I'm solid. 13. How narrow is this ledge? Is it? I'm um, I'm looking I'm looking for the DC. It should be sixteen. Oh, there we go. Cliffside climbing is that. That's a perception. Narrow cliff is. Gotcha. That would be a failure. DC yeah. is sixteen. Yeah, sure. Seventeen, success. You move half your speed. Well, let me just measure it. So rounding up, that would be only three squares. Second action. Uh, just move me all the way up to the cave entrance. No, that's just only halfway. You gotta roll another one for the other half. So I can only move 15? Yeah, half your speed, rounding up. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. There you go. That's all my actions. Oh, okay. I mean, you got two more. You can do it again. That's what I said. I was moving all the way over there, you said. No, oh, no. then you need to make another acrobatics check. Single time. Yeah, kind of, it's kind of like right. climbing, uh, basically. Uh, how do I climb down? Uh, athletics. Oh, well, whatever. Same. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to climb down regardless. Of what I mean, you can go the long way, you can climb down that way, or you can just jump, which you'll take 10 damage because it's 20 feet up. 
pick your poison. You said the arrow came from that cave? Yes. Alright, so let's see if this guy will come out, because I don't know if he's even worth going in there for. Hey there, friend. I saw you give us a hand out here a moment ago fighting these gargoyles. They're gone now. Will you want to come out so I can thank you properly? You get no response. Can I take a ration bar and like uh, <laughs> throw it over there? It's sure, like yeah. You can, throw, you can, yeah. You can fasten a little ration bar and throw it out there, and we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay. Well, what do I need to roll for that? Anything? Oh no, no, you don't need to roll anything for that. Uh, Pretty sure you yeah. can get it over there. Let's see. Okay, well. I mean, if you were, like, trying to throw it, like, really far, yeah, we, we had to make some checks, but you're just trying to throw it, no, like, 15 feet over, over there. there. Throw it in the entrance where the light's there. He can see it. Mm -hmm. says, I, I would I would try to reward you with more, but I, I'm not sure if I could uh, reach everything that far. Hmm. Well, we'll see if we get an answer. Cold Tooth, your go. Anyways, they see uh, Twinkle's trying to there. talk to somebody over there. Yep. He hasn't had his turn yet. Anyway, I'm going to cast the uh, frostbite onto it. Oh, okay. Sixty yeah, feet away. Oh, nice. Yeah, I don't see a roll for it. Attack roll for it. Oh, wait, no, it's a forty-two save. One, two. 21 and 16. So he'll take 20. That'd be a success. Rounding up. So he'll take six. Cold. And a second one is a failure. So he'll take eight cold. Gotcha. Little Horn, you're go. Your go. It's your turn. Um, all right, so I'm going to uh, climb the cliff. All right, gotcha. You put your one weapon away and roll that athletic check. Ooh, nice. 25. Do you have an extra Ziploc bag? You should say move up five. No, I don't have an extra Ziploc bag. Mm, I hate how that is, but that sucks. I'm already 10 feet tall. Yeah, oh yeah, that is true. You are 10 feet tall. So, you can move up to here. Okay. Where is the, where is the person at? Hmm, person is down here. I thought, he was, I thought he was near. Uh, Twinkle. He went away? Yeah, he went away. Oh, Nobody knows really why. Oh, no. Only the GM knows. Oh, Alright, gotcha. That will require another athletic check. You gotta do it for each one. Each time you move, you gotta make an athletic yeah. check. 29, success. So, yep, you move there. So, you had to use a action to put up your weapon and then climb twice. Okay, this guy, let's see here. Getting more people. He flies into this cavern. Uh, Tyrell. Guys, that didn't sound good. No, it didn't. 
What you gonna do, Tyrell? Oh, me? Yep. Yes. What you got? What you doing? Do I see him yet? Nope. You have no dark vision. You're just a normal human. Where am I supposed to go? I don't know. You tell me. Cliff? Because I'm Is he up on the cliff? Yep. It's currently, Little Horn is climbing the cliff. Twinkle is trying to get somebody out of the cavern. And Cold Tooth is firing spells at the creature, which he can't see anymore. Um, damn. I don't know to yes. I don't know to climb the cliff or keep going. Are all these uh, levels of cliff? Are you on the cliff? <laughs> hey. Two people are talking at once. Twinkle. No. Twinkle. Alright. You still here? Well, no answer from the guy, right? Well. So far, no answer from the guy. But but Tyrell is asking a question. Three more spaces. Twinkle. Are you on top yeah. of the cliff? Yes, I am trying to one. Kind of hard to see these blocks. Um, right, that is a success. Because I guess that's where, I okay. guess that's where everybody mm -hmm. is. Well, that is a that is technically a critical success. So you can move your normal speed. Because you are small, you get a bonus. If you're a meter sign creature, you don't get a bonus. So, yep, yeah, right there. Okay. Don't move. Because as soon as you step right there, you see a pile of rocks above your head. Sharp, but in a net. And on the right side corner, you see a little halfling woman with a black smear mark on her face. And let me show you a picture. Hey. Let's see. Nope, haven't shown the picture yet. You guys are everywhere. I'm just. Can I show it? Yeah, there we go. Hmm, the name. Yeah, be good. You see a little halfling warrior holding the string Hello? and holding a knife to it. And she says, One more wrong step, and I'll cut the string. Now, who are you? Because I don't have bloody time for this. I'm, I am Twinkle. I'm a bard. Me and my companion are just trying to find our way out of this cavern. And I saw you helped us out against these gargoyles. And, and as you can see, the ration there, I, I just wanted to thank you properly. For your what do you think? I'm a bloody animal? I just go, go around eating rations on the floor? Like a pig? No, you, you seemed really reluctant to come out, so I tried to show some goodwill. Wow, throwing food on the floor is goodwill. Okay, I'll remember that. Well, uh, I pick up the ration and I say, well, if you, I would like to say thank you for your assistance. I think you were one of the reasons they left us alone. And... I can see you don't want any assistance and you don't need any friends. So I think I'll leave you. Friends? If that's what you want. I mean, if you were to, with the bloody freaking crusaders, that would be really nice right now. But I don't think, uh, I, what are you exactly? I, I can't see you. Uh, I know uh, you're there. I'm a, I'm a bard. A bard? So you sing. A bard. Yes. I see. Would you like to hear one of my tunes? No, I, no. You're going to attract the the gargoyles again. Did you even kill them? Uh, well, we killed one of them. Just one. Before they left. Back in my day, the Crusaders would have killed all of them. The demons. Every last one of them. But I'm stuck here now after that whole escapade and the frozen flame being stolen. <sighs> Jeez. I wouldn't... I'd love to see my own comrades again. 
Twinkle is only talking. So, yeah, Little Horn does not hear the conversation. That's ironic. We, my clan's on, on its way to find the frozen plane. Well, not my clan, but the clan that I'm traveling with. Wait a minute. Are you with Ashwell? She holds the knife closer to the rope. No, I'm with, um, what's her name? Uh, I got what, the, uh, uh, the following? The little girl. Oh, little Emic? Girl. Emic? Emic? Yeah, I'm, I'm with Emic. Who? You know, the forager. Talks to animals. What? I... Good friend. Great. Okay, okay, okay. Is this one of this, uh, Vintex trick you're trying to do right now? Because I'm not buying it. Uh, actually, I'm not trying to trick you into anything. I just wanted to say thank you. Hmm. Roll a diplomacy. And, and I say, thank you. Diplomacy. I'm a plus 10. That better be good. Oh, plus 10. My diplomacy should be where, pretty rude. Where is this person standing? This person is standing within this cavern up here. We're, well, yeah, because you're not there. This is where Twinkle, this is where Twinkle is at, talking to the person in this cavern. Okay, 25. Hmm. She lets her guard down a bit and puts the sword away. So you're not with Ashen Swell or that dragon. Uh, No. Trust me, if we had a dragon, you think we'd be fighting these gargoyles? How'd a dragon do it? Huh. Interesting. Okay, I won't kill you right now. As long as you're not lying to me. But what are you guys doing here? What? We're trying to find our way through this cave. You wouldn't happen to know how to get out of here, would you? Well, no, I've been stuck here for a while. Gargoyles has pushed me down here in the don't remember to the demon over there, back there. Jeez. Don't know how he's going to get past that. Oh. It, it was a lot of hard work. Blood, sweat, and tears. We lost a couple guys in the process, but... Uh, Wait, you bloody killed him? Yeah, that's the my party who killed him. Hmm. Roll me a diplomacy. Right there. A diplom it's not yeah. a lie, dude. I know it's not a lie. Uh, Try to persuade okay. her. Impressive. I rolled an eight. <laughs> hey, your diplomacy is up there. It's pretty high. I think you're what, expert? But that is a success. Hmm. Okay. Well, I could probably help you get out of the cave if you can help me. Oh. Yeah. I would love to help you if I can. Mm -hmm. uh, how, wait, how much do you know of the... the the, the Mammoth Valley, exactly. You don't seem like you're from around Only, here. Well, I am not. I, I'm tribal with the clan, but I think my clan might know quite a bit. They've been born and raised here. Hmm. Okay, well, you guys are in a rude awakening. Have you, have you ever seen the white dragon, uh, Benexus? I have not. I have promised no. my aid to help them out after they were displaced in the attack by another clan. Well, she rules and these so lands around here. Got it. Hmm. And she sits down. She starts carving a bunch of stone to make some arrows and stuff. And she has this magical flame or whatever frozen thing this thing is. And she's using it to make ice castles and dominating this whole land right now. Don't know how she got it. But... She's terrorizing us right now. Yeah. Not to mention the necromancers well, out there. Causing a ruckus. Well, you know, I, I think my plan would be very interested in helping you remove this flame from uh, this evil witch's grasp if she's causing that much trouble. They hmm. might even be willing to dedicate their lives in this. Well, that would be a bloody good percent. change of a start for once. But the way out is simple. 
you need to make a pathway through... Well, obviously, you got to get rid of the gargoyles. They're not going to let up. Made by her, yada, yada, yada. Make sure nobody gets past or come into these lands and stuff. Not to mention the demon. Uh, if you can, try to meet my other fellow people down here. They're uh, Med... What is it? Medvin's soldiers. They can help you out. You're not the only one down here. Of course not. I mean, some of us survived that demon back there. So we got all split up. Ah, <sighs> bloody heck. Yeah. Other than well, that, if you can get rid of all that, we can probably actually get out of here. I know a pathway. So get rid of the gargoyles. Uh, and clear the path. That's pretty much it. The forest path. And we should be uh, good to go. Gargoyle. So I'm just a simple bard. Mm -hmm. uh, you seem to have extensive knowledge of these gargoyles. What can you tell me that may be of assistance so that we can better manage them? Mm. Like what exactly? Because you know their hardest rock. Yeah. So do you know of any of their weaknesses, or if they're immune to anything? Do they have any faults where? If you have anti manium that could actually get past their armor, but that's pretty much it. These arrows don't really do much. But they're too fat to fit in this freaking cavern. That's why I'm so small right here. And safe and sound. Until you fit in here. Any advices? Any advices? Uh, do they really like strawberries or, you know? <laughs> did he really? Did, did I ask the gargles, do they like strawberries? Oh, bloody heck. But, uh, Who knows? A good meal can disarm any man long enough to be dispatched. There's Venexus minions. That's all I can tell you that much. Just hit hard and that's it. Have numbers. They have numbers back there too and a bunch of treasure. They stole a lot of my loot. Mm. Okay. Well, we'll do what we can to uh, dispatch what these gargoyles. You can't hear the whole conversation, but you can ask a question, Twinkle. Yeah. What they stole was some powerful armor, uh, 20 arrows, my short bow, uh, some ghost charge, a holy water, and a good shield, a better shield than whatever that big guy was using. Which I feel like I've seen him before on the battlefield. Yeah. The big guy? Yeah, whatever you call that uh, Minotaur guy. Uh, yeah, we call him Sweet Tooth. Sweet Tooth. Uh, ha! Tooth. Yeah. Not Sweet Tooth. That's a funny name. Never heard of a guy named Sweet Anyhow. Tooth. But anyways, if you can deal with the gargoyles, we can talk. Alright, well. Uh, last question for you and then I'll leave you. Uh, you what is it? to know where they are. Where they're hiding out. Sure. Should be 70 feet up in the air. The tallest cliff side that they perch on. But you better hurry. The dragon's going to come soon. All right. And well, they offered you. it it's their treasure. So you might want to hide when she comes. Oh, they love treasure. Well, she loves treasure. Okay. They give it to her. I thank you for your assistance, man. Mm -hmm. And I bid you good day. And don't die out there. I say that to everybody. You're not the first person to get here and then talk to me. Alright. Right. I'm gonna step out. If you can't see me, I'm still invisible, right? That is true, but she can hear you. Walk out. Alright, so I'm just gonna let my companions know about our conversation. What was said you know, about her treasure, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> and then I'm going to ask my Minotaur friend to give me a hand down off of this cliff, if he doesn't mind. Uh -huh. And we'll see if we can come up with a game plan to get rid of these uh, All right. gargoyles. You guys are out of initiative order. So Little Horn, so do you want to help him get down?
Everybody still here? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Right, gotcha. Gotcha. So, Little Horn, you help him down? Uh, yeah, sure. All right, gotcha. So, he helps you down real quick. No check needed. He's 10 feet tall. And you guys gather around to discuss what you guys want to do. Oh. All right, so okay. I'm, out of, I'm out of spells. And okay. I, can, I can do treat wounds until everybody's healed, but that's going to take several hours. I don't know if we got that much time. No. Uh, so, I do, need, I do need to be though. Yeah. That'll take several hours. Uh, many, many hours. I can only treat wounds on everybody once now, so. I mean, I'll just, like, use my three, you know, uh, lay on hands, I guess. Uh, that's where we are in my heal. Well, let's see. Okay. Alright, it heals 12 hit points, so let's see. Uh, let me check. What are these hit points that you speak of? <laughs> it's the point of where you get hit. Okay, so basically, if we wait for about 90 minutes, I can restore everyone to full. To full strength. Um. Okay, so then we'll be down to twenty hours. No, twenty. We'll be down to nineteen hours. Ninety minutes. You guys are already at. Oh, did I put it together? I did put it together. Yeah, I'll put it right here. Now that now that's me doing it by by doing it by, you know, lay on hand by itself. We can also still do treat wounds. We can also cut down on the time. Yeah. All right. Cool. Okay. Like, my treat wounds is automatic, so I can just do that now. Mm -hmm. More time. Okay. So, you know, well, see how much... Can you do it every work. 10 minutes, or can you only do it every hour? Every hour. So, we'll see what treat wounds does us for this first. Gotcha. Okay. Well, treat wounds... All five of you. So, give me five treat wounds. We do left to right. One. Up and down. All right. Eight for you. What I got to, what do I have to do? Mm -hmm. uh, you don't have to do anything. Treat wounds only works for, I think it only works for, yeah, one person. Not multiple people can treat wounds. So you're just immune from all treat wounds. So let's see here. Eight is for Twinkle. Ten is for Gossarag. And I put on my list that there's no more treat wounds. Uh, you can give that to God. Uh, yeah, that's right. Mm. Um, try to give this one to Toothy to, to Guy and then Tyria out. Mm. All right, gotcha. Is that the last one? Yeah, that's the last one. All right, Tyria, you get eight. Little Horn gets 13. <laughs> Cold Tooth gets four, Gazerat gets ten, and Twinkle get eight. That will be one, two, three, four, five. That'll be fifty minutes. Tree room six, ten. Yep, fifty minutes. So that'll be an hour. That's right. So we can burn another hour, and I can treat wounds again, which will take us to three total, I think. Uh, we'll see. We're doing the lay on hands part. Okay, Cold tooth, so you don't have. Refocus this. Refocus this. All my uh, focus spells, right? You didn't refocus all your focus spells last fight. I mean, I know that, but like, you know, I mean, like for now. Yeah. So you have to refocus only. How many focus points do you have total that you can have? Three, right? Yeah. Okay, you have a max of three. So yeah, you need to refocus one right now, which is ten. And then lay on hands and then refocus, lay on hands, refocus. One refocus, refocus all three points? No, refocus, only refocus one point. Ah, uh, you said that it can refocus all no, three points. No, 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 no. I said that the new rules allow you to refocus three points instead of just one because normally throughout the day you could only refocus one point. Oh, 
So if you use all three of your focus leave. points, you only get back one that day. So I can only refocus three times per day? Yeah, you can refocus everything, but each one takes 10 minutes. So it would take you 30 total? It yeah. Take him 30 total to yeah, it will take him 30 total points. to get all his focus points back. Okay. So, how do you want to do it? You want to refocus all your focus points and then bada bing, bada boom? Just focus. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's calculating. Recalculating. Calculating. Calculating. Okay. Calculating. Everyone at this point should be at max health, right? No. Not only that person that's at max health is you and Gazarag. Everybody else oh, is just why wounded. Would I be at full, why would I be at full health? What do you mean? You are at full health. That's what I'm saying. You didn't die as much. You Sorry, weren't in the front right. lines to get hit. <laughs> I'd be Gazarag. All right, so what are you doing? Focusing and then going back and forth? Um, yes. All right, gotcha. So for Twinkle, that will take two focus points. So that'll be 10. So that'll be 20 minutes for two. So that's 10 points? No, you'll get back 24 HP. And that'll be a 20 minutes. Tyriel only needs one focus point, so that will be... 12 HP, so that'll be 10 minutes. Little Horn needs a lot. He needs four focus points. So if he's going for four, four F, 24, 24, that'll be 48 HP, and that will be 40 minutes. How's that look, Alex? Good? Cold tooth? Mm, let's see. Well, if we, if we, if we, if we 24, 20 minutes, 12 every 10, I don't know what the 4F is, but... Oh, four focus points for Little Horn. I mean, yeah. All right, gotcha. And then you need to get all your focus points back again if you want to, or are you going to just stay focus point list? Probably just get my focus points back. All right, got you. So that will take, you have three focus points total. That'll take 30 minutes. So that'll be a total of an hour and 40 minutes. Let me see here. Yep, 10, and then uh, gotta carry that over. So it'll be five hours total. Five hours and 10 minutes. You guys have been here. So you got full, everybody's fully healed. And Cold Tooth has, yep, fully healed. Cold Tooth, you have all your focus points back. All right, let's go gargoyle hunting. Oh, Wait, do we have a plan? There's a bell. Resilient to it. Yes. There has to be a okay. I'm ready. 
Okay, I understand now. I'm sorry. I'm ready now. No, you're good. Just reading through. Uh huh. Okay. All right, which way are we going? Are we going? Are we going this way? Like, where are we going? Do you guys tell me? Are we climbing? Yeah, um, yeah, we're climbing. I'm gonna uh, pick everybody, everybody up? up and uh, I'm gonna pick everybody up and put them on top of the cliff. All right. Oh, you guys will be okay. ten feet up on the cliff. Okay. Ten feet up. Okay. Okay. You guys have, unless you have combat climber, you guys do not have your weapons out. Hmm. Is this the cliff? How far is it to here? That is twenty feet. So how far from that? Uh, from your distance, that's just like five feet. All right, they went this way, right? So I don't know what's gonna happen. It's all athletic. What I need to roll? Acrobatics. Acro Athletics. Athletics. Can we get to the top? Athletics. Athletics. Rolling. You get to the top. Sorry, wrong one, I guess. Gotcha, 15. There you go. Athletics. Cool. Twinkle, that is a critical success. So, you move an extra two. And me too. Tyriel. Oh, wait, why is Tyriel Eric? What the heck? Ooh. He wants to be like Eric. Eric. He wants to be like that. 15 feet. <laughs> that doesn't even sound right. Alright. Who's next? What? I don't know. I guess it's well, me. I guess I gotta, I gotta climb up myself. Yeah, of course. 18, oh, success. Gotcha. Okay. Success, success. Alright, move two squares. Question is a, a grappling hook and a rope. What kind of bonus do they give me? Like a plus one, plus two? That should give you a plus one. All right, so I'm going to use. I have like 50 feet of rope and a grappling hook. I'm gonna use that. For that bonus. All right, where are you throwing it at? Which cliff? Okay, hook uh, it. it. Yep, you can move two squares. Hold on, it says 50 feet, right? So let's count 50 feet. Oh, the rope? Yeah. Yep, well, that is just a bunch I of smoke. Can you go 50 feet? I can't even throw 50 feet. No, I can't even throw 50 feet. No, you can't throw 50 feet. I can't? No, you All can't. Right, uh, let's throw it up. I mean, you can uh, try. Well, I'm going to throw it towards this cliff here. Okay. We'll just throw it towards this cliff. You just tell me how that is. That's okay. 30 feet. How high is this? Is this is 20 feet? Okay, so from this distance, 30. Yeah, I'll give it 30. Because the distance is just 30. So for throwing it, you don't have any ranged weapons, do you? Flail mace and no, no rainbow. Okay, gotcha. We're gonna use your dex and a 1d20. This is gonna be a minus four to the penalty, but DC is 15. So roll me a 1d20 and then we'll add your dex modifier to it. Let's see how far it goes. Gotcha. Right. And your dex is Why probably a two. That? So yeah, you probably get it only five feet to the next square. Okay. And it's pretty hard. Well, I rolled a twenty-five on my athletics, so there you go. Yeah, dice be dice. You move two squares up. 
Little horn waiting for you. Uh, okay, so I'm on the after I check to get climb again or Yeah. Alright. That one you go down. It's not a nat one, I said eleven. That is a yeah, nat one, it? red is nat one. And if you hover over it, it does say one. So you go all the way down from the cliff side. Slide Basically slide down. Don't greatly fail. Alright. Uh, I'll roll again. Yep, go for it. Another nat one. <laughs> no, this is just baloney. This is rigged. Hey, you just find bad rocks in the cliff to hang on to. One more action. Go. 25, critical success. You can move up to... What is it? Two blocks of your token, basically. Hmm. Or 10 feet up. Instead of 5. But I'm still in the same spot. Yep, basically. All right, next, who's going up? I can. All right, go for it. Roll me three athletic checks. 25 and up is a crit success. Success, you move five up. Failure and success. So you move two squares. One critical you failure. Hmm? You can move yourself. Success. Well, I don't know what a square is. I don't know. I don't know what two is. Hmm? It's just two squares. You can't see the squares. Oh, you can't wait. Let me see. Can you see? You gotta zoom in really close. Yeah, you gotta zoom in close. Oh, I see him now. One, yeah, you zoom in really two. Close. Okay, sorry about that. Hmm. I, I can see him now. I would hate for a critical failure. <laughs> hmm. Mm. So what am I going to moving up one or am I moving back four and then moving one what am I doing you're moving back two with a critical failure so you're moving up one so you oh, are yeah, space yeah space basically alright that was a rag gold tooth yeah okay success Hmm. Not very athletic. Hey, one square. You guys roll the same thing, or pretty sure you guys will have both different checks, right? You guys have both different athletic checks. Yes. Okay. I mean, well, really shouldn't, but you know. All right. Yeah, so yeah, one, uh, two, three. I don't have any. I don't have any strength because you know he has all the strength. So. Gotcha. <laughs> So you riding on top of him, or are you? Oh, I can't ride on top of him. We're the same size. Oh well, you still need to roll your athletic check then. I did. That's one. So that will be a failure. So you have to stay back. All right. Okay. Let's see. Little horn, go. It's tedious. I need a candle. But I wasn't the one who put a seventy-five foot cliff here. Candles. I mean, don't you have that candle cap? 21. Oh, success. Nah. Sorry, not that. Anti type of candle. Brought up a storm. I'll be right back. Alright, you can move up. Roll me two more athletic checks. Wow. Okay. You go back to where you originally were. And, and, and yeah, that's a critical failure. You rolled a nat one. Twenty-eight success. All right, you can move up two spaces up. So critical success. You move up two squares up. So it's like ten feet. This is five. This is ten. 
If you want to look up climbing checks rules, that is how it goes. Unless you have a climb oh, speed, Lord. that is different. <laughs> He's standing still. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Twinkle, your go. Failure, success, and critical success. So you move up three squares. Or 15 feet. Gotcha. Tyrio? Or Gazarag and Coltooth? Coltooth. Uh huh. One. Success. Success. Yep. Do I need to roll three times? Mm hmm. Athletics. So Coltooth and Gazarag, you move up one square. Jeez. Okay. Can I can I hero point there? Yeah, sure. Okay. Let's see. Hero pointed twenty five. Two squares up. Oh wait, never mind. Seventeen. Failure. Failure. Okay, gotcha. So you move fifteen feet. How many squares? That is three squares. Hey, right, little horn, you're go. You're falling behind. Maybe the clip doesn't like big people. Hey, athletics. I go. Hmm? Nope, little horn. If little horn is still here. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you move back one. That's a lot in that one, man. 25, critical success. You move two squares up. So basically five feet up. And another quick success. You move another 10 feet. So 15 feet up total from your current spot. That would be Twinkle. Here you go. I am not moving your guys' tokens. You guys can move it. Okay, failure, success, and success. So 10 feet. You are now on the cliff side and up. Which, by the way, invisibility is gone by now. Wait, is it 10 minutes or is it one minute? Well, if it was 10 minutes, minute. you still... Okay, yeah. So, yeah, it still would have been gone from the whole treat wounds thing. Mm -hmm. All right, Tyriel, your go. Sorry, I was watching a meme on black jobs. Um, Let's see. Failure. Success. Quick success. You are now on the ledge. Yeah, boy. Anything? Nope, you're not oh, inside, no, so up, nothing. You, know. you see a bunch of just claw marks and a lot of places where the gargoyles would probably stand at just to watch the edge. Wow, okay. So, Gazarag and Cold Tooth. Frontline guys are all the way in the back. Hmm, okay, Cold Tooth go back one. Gazarag goes up by one. Okay. 
you still have another action. Technically, you have act together, so technically you both have two actions. Or next year, yeah. And then we got Little Horn. Here go. Give him a second. Yep, yep. He'll be right there. There he goes. Right, yep. You move up one square. You move up another square. Make sure you move your token. And move up another square. Right, okay, that's three squares. Also, last round, you had an extra three squares, too. But you did a move. Mm -hmm. There, and... Gotcha. Let's see. All right, Twinkle. You said they over here with just smoke? Yep, all that is just smoke blocking the area. take my grappling hook and rope, secure it somewhere, and I find a nice little place to secure the hook. Gotcha. You are able to find it, no check needed. And I'm going to let the rope down and try to give these guys a the rope to help them out. Gotcha. They will get a bonus. Plus two. All right. Cold Tooth and Gazarag. Here you go. Yeah, Twinkle beat you. Twinkle. A guy named Twinkle. I don't really know what Twinkle do anything but R, right? Alright, Gazarag, that is a success. 15. I don't put a lot of stock in names. Alright, hey, you do have, was it, Act Together, so you can have another action for Cold Tooth and Gazarag. Okay. So. Success. Success. That is a critical success from Gazarag, so he is up. All right, we got Little Horn. Here go. Little horn. Next character name. My next character name is going to be Ozempic. Hmm. Oh, Ozempic, your way up the cliff. Critical success. And success. All right. You are by the cliff. You can't get up because your companions are blocking your way. But you are on standby. All right. Twinkle, your go. I'm going to grab the gather up my... Uh and stuff. Okay. As soon as you walk in, you see more gargoyles. Oh, Lord. As they snarl. They're here for the treasure. Of course they are. I told you that already. 
Kill them. And everybody, we're gonna roll for initiative. Oh my! Oh, nobody wants to attack. Okay. Okay. Let's see. It's in an order. First one. He's gonna fly out and attack Twinkle. This cavern is how high is this cavern? I'm going to do empathetic play. Ooh, okay, go for it. Please, Mr. Monster. Please don't do <laughs> this to me. All we want is your death. Oof. No bonuses. Right, diplomacy before he attacks. Ew. That's bad. That's bad. It's 20. No, nope, wait. 20 is a success on the dot. So you'll take negative two penalty to the damage. And it strikes against you until the beginning of its next turn. Then it is if it's your expert. Are you an expert or are you? No, I'm just trained. Oh, you're just trained. Okay, that been pretty good. Uh, instead of attacking, he's going to try to shove you off the cliff. Okay. Twenty against your fortitude. But you make sure you add 10. Rolling it, fortitude. That's 25. I'm adding 10 to that, that's 25. Oh, you don't need a roll for fortitude. So what you do is you look at your fortitude save and then you add the bonus to it, which is just 10. So nine is the bonus. That'd yeah, be a success. So mm -hmm. Knowing that it's a creature right in front of you, you both will just take 1d6 damage from a shove attempt. He just knocks you into another creature. It's like a wall. So, 6 damage to Gajarak and Tinkle. What's the room number? 407. 407. Last name for right? And then he's going to try to push Tyrio. Minus five, 19. Tario, what is your fortitude? It is. Order two, is that the 40? Uh, F O R T. F O R T. Yeah, talking about the E8? E8? Yep, that's what it is. So eight, then you plus 10 to that, you have 18. He had a 19, so he shoves you five feet off the cliff. And you start to fall, but you can use a reaction called, what is it, grab edge? Yeah, grab edge yeah. reaction. Okay. So you need to make Where's a reflex save to grab the edge. Oh. Ooh, 12. Mm. Why does it say Eric? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out, too. Are you on his profile? Let me try that again. Just to see if the name changed. Here we go. There we go. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know how that happened. Do you want to use a hero point or you want to keep? Um, I do the hero point and then keep the. Gotcha. The, wait, you. you know, the first one? Yep, for the first one. Wait, wait. We just need. There's only one. The first one. The, yeah. The, okay. Yeah. yeah so the we're gonna go point. to the 19. So yeah, he pushes you yeah. off, and for a moment you see yourself fall. And you miss the cliff side. But with that hero point, you change his arms and you grab the cliff and you're dangling from it. Yes. And I'm right behind her. I'm right behind her. 
True, yeah. And she would have fell right on top of you. If you have a ready action to catch her, you could. Or can use her reaction to catch her too. Which, no, yeah, you have to have to use a ready action to catch her just in case. Which you do not. So if she would have fell, she would have fell on you and you both would have took bludgeoning damage. Jesus. So, Gazarag, you're go. Gosserag to tumble through both of them. Ooh, okay. 25, that is a success. Ooh. And he's going to strike twice. <laughs> 27 is a hit. 8 bludgeoning. Minus the hardness. He is still up. Ow! And a 15 is a... Oh, okay. Go for it. Oh, 25 is a hit. Keeping the same damage. 14. Yep. Oh, that didn't save him either. Okay. Even with the hardness. That's exactly what you needed to get him. And you break this thing into two and it falls apart on the ground and what? crushes and splashes. To a million yes. pieces. And uh, mm -hmm. Colton is going to the climb. And he falls a little bit, I guess. Yep, gotta go back. <laughs> Twinkle, your go. I am going to do a caustic blast. Gotcha. On this crowd back here. 17, that is a miss. And you're in this phase. Okay. Anything you want to do with your last action? Yeah, days. Oh, days. No, I can't that do that. is two That's actions. Two actions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't do that. My bad. Uh, what is it? Let us rally anthem. Right, rally Anthem. This creature's turn that you try to blast. He's going to go over here. And shove you. Sixteen. No, that doesn't work. And then attack two for shove. Twenty. Oh, that's just a nat 20. Never mind. Nat 20. Even minus five. Yep, critical success. He pushes you... 10 feet away. Not able to grab an edge, and he can follow through. And you will fall only... How high is his edge? I'll say 10 feet. 10 feet, because he's 10 feet tall. That makes sense. So you take only half damage, only 5 damage. There's more out here! Protect the treasure! Tyrell, you have one hand, well, technically two hands on the cliff side. You need two hands to climb. Well, I'm gonna pull myself up. All right, go for I it. can't just be dangling here. Oh, oh, Athletic shit. Oh, guys. Okay, right. success. Awesome. Awesome, awesome work. Okay, you don't have a bow out. Check. Mm -hmm. I'll grab my weapon. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to shoot. And that. Can. Yep, that one will be a miss. So yeah, get well, up, grab weapon, shoot. I didn't, I didn't have enough time to do a spell and all that stuff. So. Nope, you're good. Try and do damage little by little. Okay, Gazarag. Yeah. Yeah. Creatures come from the corner and. This one's going to fly right behind you. And jaw and claw. 28. 28. 9 piercing? Oh, wow. Exactly. 9 piercing. So, 18. Next guy. It's going to fly in. Flanking. And jaw and claw. 
18 miss, 24 hits, 14 slashing. That'll be Gossarag and technically Coltooth. That one is dead. Take him out of initiative. All right, Gossarag, your go. Gosarag will use Electric Arc. Okay, gotcha. One, two. 18 and 24. I always go top to left, so first one failed. He takes nine. Second one takes half damage, rounding up, so five. Which one? Uh, which one got hurt the most, or which this one's hurt the most, I guess? Uh, the one in the dark got hurt the most. And a bunch of... 30. That's a hit. Using your ice claw. Slicing his wing a little bit. Twinkle, you're 10 feet down from the cliff. Front of me. Yeah, in composition. Point, oh, Days does not need a hero point. It's not an attack roll. It's just a will save. Mm, okay. Right. Will he say? Let's see. He had a 28. So you'll only take half damage, which is one. All right, Anthem, plus one bonus to everybody. If someone moves allies to protect themselves more effectively, you and all allies in the area gain one plus bonus. We are to missing. Okay, Little Horn, you did not roll for initiative. Oh, did we miss him twice? Yeah, it looks like we missed him twice, so I'm going to give him two turns. Yeah. So, yeah, make sure you click on your token and hit initiative. You're not on the turn tracker. Yep. There we go. All right, we'll put you up here. There. Uh, All right. uh, wait, sorry. Uh, wait. Sorry. What's uh, up? It's possible like, to cast one more spell since I still have so I want action up on my own guy. Sure, I'll allow it. Oh, we got one more, right? Protect okay. companion. Do you need to see him? Verbal. Okay, no. Nope, you are more than 30 feet away. Okay, yep. Then, I'm still uh, climbing, right? Yeah, I can tell he's climbing, right? Yeah, you still climb. <laughs> okay, you go climb down. <laughs> hey, little horn, climbing up. Yeah. Right, gotcha. You are barely on the edge, but your feet's in the barely your feet's in. Okay. Hey, but you're up there. Nope, nope. You're good. You're up there. No athletics. But right. you don't have any weapons in hand. I guess I'll be taking my weapons out. Gotcha. One flail. That'd be it. Let's see. Ten feet. Whose turn is it? This guy. Hmm. How high is the ceiling? It's gotta be. Okay, that part's ten feet. All right. This guy below you, he's gonna fly up. 10 feet above you and attack you, Little Horn. Jaw and claw. You have no shield. Remember, they took it. 15 and 21 both miss. Oh, I got 
had a piece and, and, and got my shield back. Hmm? You still have to repair it. You didn't roll for any repair checks. What is he taking in that? Okay. Tyrell, your go. Sorry, I was drinking water. Um, this is, wait, 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 I thought I had low grade shield that I got from. Yes, that is the one that they took. They took that at the end of the last battle. Yeah, and I thought I'd splattered that guy for that shield back. No, you splattered another guy. The other guy took your shield and went up while you were still on the ground. He was 40 feet in the air. The other guy you splattered was the one that was behind you guys, hitting Tyrell and then flanking, trying to hit uh, Cold Tooth. He did not have your shield. Okay. Oh, okay. Hey, Tyriel, 22 hits. Mm, low on the damage. Get some guy right here. And he will take a little bit of damage, but seems resistant. And I will move him right here for now. Okay, and I'm guessing you're going to recharge. Yeah. Right. This guy. Working on one person already. Jaw, claw, and claw. Jaw, claw, and bandana. You don't know. No, he's got a better idea. Why do that when we can do this? He's going to try to shove Little Horn. 20. <laughs> What's your fortitude, Little Horn? My fortitude is... F-O-R-T. Fortitude is 11. 11, okay, gotcha. Plus 10, that'll be 21. So he fails. Then he's going to try again. Minus 5. 24, that's going to be a 19. He gives up on that, and then he's going to try to do a claw attack into Gajarag. At map three. Missing with a 16. Next guy. Yeah, that's what they were going to do. He's going to fly up and try to push Gajarag. Oh, sorry. Nope. Little horn. Athletics. 19. Okay, fails. And then he's going to try to bite and claw at Gajarag. Out of anger. Let's see, 22 to Gazarag, that's 13 piercing, and 15 misses. It's only 13 piercing damage. Gazarag, your go. It's a rag. Sounds like an itch that a Smurf gets. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Cold tooth, you still here? It was like that uh, Azriel for the Smurf, Azriel. Cold tooth, you still here? Yeah. All right, wait on you. And I like use the electric arc. All right, 30, nah, that was a nat 20, so nothing happens to him. And another guy got a 21, so he'll take half damage. And punch the weakest guy. Or actually, I guess punch that guy. Gotcha, the one you got flanked. 16 minus, well, plus 2 because he's flanking. That is a yeah, failure. That is a success. Twinkle, your go. Ten feet down. Let's go ahead and try the guy that's in front of me. We're going to try it again. Lingering in composition. All right. We're going to stay. Gotta do the plus a boost stare. Oh. Oh, weird. Okay. Get that error, but if I turn it back on. Oh, 
all good? I don't know. I'm getting a syntax error for some reason. Now. Hmm. What are you trying to cast? Days. Days. I've cast it in once already. Hmm. Roll me a 1d6, and which creature are you doing it to? Uh, the one in front of me. Gotcha. The one above Little Horn. Because I know the will save is DC 20. He's got a 19. So he'll take full damage. Main composition. That is a free action. You still have one more action. Uh, the same song again. Gotcha. Yeah, they're hey, Little Horn, uh, you're go. So, I'm a cat. Gotcha. Plus one bonus to AC. Save your boom, 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 boom. Nice. Hey, Little Horn, you're go. Taking out my dagger. So I have to, a weapon in one hand and a weapon in another. Cool. Two. And I'm in, uh, let's see, am I in striking distance here? Of course not. Unless you're talking about the one above you, then yes, you do. You are. Yeah, I'm in striking distance of that guy above me. You want to double strike, double move? Go for it. Ooh, ah. 22. That is a hit. And second one. Okay, so we combine the damage. 18 is a miss. So it only takes the 13. Minus the hardness. What are you going to do for your last action? Well, wait, wait, no. Draw a weapon, double slice. Yeah. Gotcha. Let's see. The one above you, he's going to. Hmm. Okay. Got it. Strike at you. Jaw and claw. 23 hits, 8 piercing, 25 hits, 8 slashing, and 7 miss. So that will be 16 damage total. Tyrio, here you go. Gotcha. The one that's above Little Horn. Oh, um, yes. I wish I can do something better. There's nothing that I can do better. 28. That is a hit. Low on the damage um, front. And spell. Low. Yeah, it's really well. You yeah, you rolled a. Did you roll a four or what? You roll? Oh, you rolled a one. You rolled two ones. Yeah, that doesn't get by his hardness. When you fling your arrow, None. nothing happens. Not at all. Okay. Nothing. Recharge. Hmm. This guy, he's gonna try to shove little horn. And wow, got a ten. He's gonna. Fly over here and try to claw at Gajarag. Oh, he wanna... Hmm? You said Little Horn attacked or attacking? No, no. My turn. Gargoyle tries to shove you, and then he went around the corner. Well, oh, he rolled a nat one. Went around the corner, and he's going to try to attack Gajarag. So 27, okay. 8 slashing to Gajarag. Next guy, he's going to try to shove Little Horn. 14, miss. He's going to try to bite him. And then claw at Godrag. 24 to hit Little Horn, 9 piercing. And 20 with flanking, which will hit. That'll be 10 slashing for Godrag. So 9 to Little Horn. 
and then 10 to Godrak. All right, Cold Tooth, your go. They ain't looking too hot. Here, somebody getting some snacks. Cold Tooth, you still there? Anything, Mr. Cold Tooth? Hello? You gotta say BRB, man. Anyways, act together. Where were you? I was here. Oh, we were calling your name. Yes. Why didn't you say I anything? You didn't say anything. No, you weren't. Anyways, Electric Arc. All right, I, I know what I'm going to do next time. Who's Electric Yes. Reflex. We'll see you there next time. 18 and 28. First one failed. That'll be nine. Second one succeed. Takes half. Rounding up five. Attacking the one on flanking. Right, go for it. That is a miss. And then, and and then move. Uh, potentially. Potentially. All right, success. You still have the rope, so that would be a critical success. You can move an extra one. Twinkle, your go. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's just do a same guy. Days. Hey, okay. twenty one success. He'll take half. Which is minimum of one, so just one. What? <laughs> Little horn, here you go. Uh, so far, it's buried in the room, deeper down. Oh, my God. All right. Double strike attack. Gotcha. Miss. Ooh, critical hit. Somebody rolled a nat 20, finally. So, that's the one flying above you. That is 20. 12 damage, slashing, times that by 2, that's 24. Is that enough? Yep. Nice. You swat them again, like the rest of them, like a fly, and splatter them on the wall. Dust is everywhere. Alright, one more action. I got my dagger. That one is a miss. Right. Let's see. This guy's out. Tyriel, your go. Okay. I'm going to try something different. Oh, wait, never mind. That messes up everything. That nat 20 would go to your dagger instead of your flail. Uh -oh. So we use a flail damage, and this guy would still be up by... 
Yeah, because you keep rolling twice for your actual flail when you're supposed to be using your flail and dagger. So remember to use that too. For a little horn? Yeah, for a little horn. Hey, Tyrell, your go. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm going to do something different. Spell strike. Low on the damage front, but maybe high on the second one. And let me check your. Let, yeah, let me double. Yeah, let me double check your spells. Mine? Yeah, I'm about to double check. I haven't used any of spells yet. I'm looking at the damage real quick. Oh. Hide in. All right, which spell are you gonna use? You're good. Um, can I, I guess I want to try acid arrow, I guess. Yep, go for it. I'm trying to make I sure it's hiding the stuff. Acid oh, arrow. Okay. Oh, acid arrow. Okay, you're actually using the big ones. Acid arrows, you deal 3d8 acid damage plus 6 persistent. All right, roll me 3d8. Uh, what's a 3d8? I don't... Oh, 3D8. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right, passing through this creature's hardness and everything, you shoot this arrow right into its jaws, and its jaw starts to melt in pieces as it cripples and crumbles yes. right in front of you. And this creature is now dead. Good job. Yes. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. This one is going to fly over here. Give us more of a fight than these guys. Shove. Oh, finally, twenty-five. So, little horn, you I go like back five feet. He follows, and you need to grab an edge. Use your reaction to grab an edge, or you will fall 10 feet onto Twinkle. You better grab that edge. Grab an edge will take a reflex save. Okay. But that you need at least one hand. That's me? Yep, that is you. Uh, reflex save here. Mm-hmm. I just click on reflex, right? Yep, just click on the reflex. Okay, success. You oh, grab yeah, on the yeah. edge. Which do you drop, your flail or your dagger? Ah, drop the dagger. Okay, you drop the dagger. It falls down 70 feet. Next, this creature oh, is going to... How many squares is that? How many squares is that? Hmm. Squares, let's see. You know what, let's roll a randomizer. That'd be think I'll be better. How many squares is this? Let's see. It's what? 40 feet. From you, your distance is 40. Gotcha. Let me roll a what? Nope. Let me see. 1D. 1D 40. Let's see how far it's gone. Yeah, he grabbed a cliff with one hand. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it is all the way down there. It is 40 feet down here. About his Running up, yeah, his dagger. But my dagger went down that way. Yeah, I rolled a randomizer and it is thirty-nine. I rounded it up, so forty. Okay. So right here in this square. Hmm. Okay. Next thing this creature's gonna do, he's going to. Hmm. Yeah, he can stay right there. Now nah, he wants to stay right there. He's gonna stay right next to Tyrell and swing with a claw. Uh, oh wait, never mind. Wait, he moved, pushed. Yep, never mind. He can only move there, anyways. So he's just gonna stay right here. 
This one is going to attack Gazerang, one jaw. Fifteen and claw. Twenty-one. Ten slashing. For his last action, he's going to fly back over here next to Tyrio. Okay, your go. Okay. Add together. He's going to attempt to intimidate uh, this one. Okay, go for uh, it. Gossel, right? I guess. Well, I guess I can do it myself. Yeah, this is not the creature you've done it on. 29. Wait, 26. That is a success. You give him a mean stare, and he is frightened one. And then Gosserad will electric park. And then I will attempt another athletic jump. Or just see that go down. Two reflex. Left to right. Oh, they wrote, both rolled 12s. Okay. I mean, that would be 11 for him, but that's not a critical failure. So, ooh. 12 damage. He's near death, and this guy takes 12 damage too. Athletics. Did you roll athletics? Okay, yep. Five feet back. Twinkle, your go. Anthem coming up. Did you fix your days? This guy here. Yeah, you can see him on the edge. Does days work or no? Does days does plastic glass? But oh yeah, yeah, days work. Oh, let's see. Nineteen light cover. Well, that still be a miss. All right, that'll be a miss. Little horn, your go. Yep. You have no room to get up unless you probably tumble through, which is an acrobatic check. Mm, see if you can squeeze through. I thought they used little, uh, the quick squeeze. <laughs> quick squeeze allows you to squeeze through tunnels and areas uh, five feet faster or around faster. Athletics. All right, yep, you can get up, but things are blocking your way, so the only way you can get past them is if you squeeze through. So you need an ac acrobatic check. See if you can get past them. Because you can't land on the and same square with the other tokens. The hmm? Oh, they're on the ground. Well, and this one is flying five feet, but remember, Little Horn is still ten feet tall. So, 19, that is a, compared to their reflex. You're close. That is a failure. You're one point off. You still have one more action. Try my dagger, so I'll just have to take a regular strike. Yep, with a penalty because they're on the edge. So just plus one AC because they have light cover. So do I use a second attack or just do a regular strike? That would just be a regular strike. Tumble through is not a attack. Yeah, tumble through is basically you trying to tumble through the creatures so you can get past them. Because remember, you're okay. too big to get around. So, you're good. No penalty. Twenty-five minus one. That is a hit. Which one are you hitting? Gotcha. 25 is a success. You swing your flail right up in the sky and you slam down on top of his head and you break its neck in half and its head just splatters all over the ground and it too, its body crumbles right in front of you. It's another kill. Yeah. 4 HP left. 
Tariel, your go. Yeah. What are you at? In front of you. Can you see him? What can you see? Are you zoomed in? Because I can see yeah. perfectly on your screen. I see, a, I see a dead person in front of me. Yep. Yeah. What about this one right here? Yeah. Nope, there's nothing right there. Mm, okay. Refresh your screen is refreshed. I'm getting down to the corner here. Oh, I see somebody. Right, perfect. You see? Thank you. I'm going to try that again. Shooting your arrow, that is a hit, connects. What spell? Okay. I am doing same oh. Am I allowed to do the same one I did before? Uh that depends if you prepared it for that day. Well, what it says it is it says frequency constant. What does that mean? Uh let me see. Oh, probably if that's for the persistent poison damage. I'm sorry, persistent acid damage. You so far you have. Nope, that is you use that spell for the day. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I gotta do another spell. Yep, that one is gone for the day. Okay then. Okay then. Um, what is flame? No, no, no. Let's do flame wisp. Oh, you saw that? Yeah, I see it. Three faintly growling wisp of fire float from your head. Each time you hit a creature with a strike, one of the wisps goes hurtling towards that creature, dealing a fire damage. I don't think fire is going to hurt them. Well, they're resistant to physical damage, so it does hurt them. Uh, this won't work for your spell strike because it's not an actual attack. It just goes with your attack. So basically, for one oh, minute, okay, fire, yeah. Every time you shoot an arrow, a fire will, you know, go around your bow and hit the creature. So, gotcha. Okay, so so go let me see. Yeah, let me look at this damage. You're heightened. I'll just go back to my rear frost. Okay, because you have spells too. And double checking, real quick, if your damage is correct. Hey, Cold Tooth. Yeah. What are your spells hiding to, by the way, for cantrips? Currently, they should be hiding to level two. So right now, if she did the Ray of Frost, it should do about what? Uh, I believe. Let me check which one is the Forgotten Sword. I didn't think that's the one. To check. It should do about what? I think like two D four. Yeah, two D four. Three D four right now. Yeah, Plus one, and that's what Well, it looks like it's supposed to be forty-four, so I thought so because of hiding every time. Okay, yeah. So roll. Level four. The height, the rankings only go up to level two right now. I'm looking at the Path Builder app real quick for that because I think. She's doing low on damage. Yeah, yeah, it, goes to 3D, yeah it goes to 3D2. Rare Frost. Right we only go to oh, spell on 2, so that means it's only heightened by all the way up to 2. Okay, what, what does that mean? Well, basically, your, um, your heightened effect for certain spells will increase. Like, for example, you have the Ray of Frost, which should be called Frostbite right now. 
where for every rank up, it increases its damage by 1d4. Your spells at this point okay. should be rank 2, so that means your Ray of Frost should actually be, you know, adding 2 extra 1d4. Yeah. You deal a total of 3d4 plus your spell modifier. Right, so she's only doing 2d4, okay. 2d4. so roll me another d4. Oh, uh, roll a what now? Uh, 1d4. We gotta update your we gotta update your cantrips. Okay, so that actually add that. Yeah, because the add an extra it's four. Frost, not ray of frost. Right. So what's the damage again? Three, five, four, it's nine. That's twelve. Okay. Twelve damage. Goes through. Then minus the hardness. He is still up, but near death. Yes. Because I'm a bad mm, person. And you killed all my friends and family. I mean, that was the demon, but we'll be happy to kill you guys too. It was your dog. Mm hmm. Hey, we'll feed you like the, all the rest of the dog foods around here. But his turn. Oh, that's perfect. He's going to fly over and try to shove Tyrell off the cliff. <laughs> 21. Success. Five feet. You have a free hand, so. Pretty much, and that's their main mechanic up here. They shove people. Roll a reflex save to see if you grab the edge. Twenty-one success. You grab the edge, and then as soon as he does that, he's going to bite and claw. Oh, me? Yeah. Oh. Minus five. That'll be twenty. So that'll be seventeen piercing. And the last one was a eleven. So that's a miss. So only seventeen piercing from the jaw. Seventeen. Oh, it's about to rain. Tonight. He's so dead. Gazarag, your go. Seems like there's one more gargoyle. Cold tooth. Well, you gotta roll. We gotta roll initiative for Cold Tooth. That I did roll. That. Yes, I did roll initiative for Cold Tooth. Hmm. Maybe it's because of your name. Maybe. I know. I literally yeah, rolled it on Cold Tooth's thing. I'm pretty sure you're the one who removed it because they basically rolled the exact same thing since they're connected. Let me try it out. Nope, when I roll for you, it's Cold Tooth. I literally roll for it for him. It probably doesn't work because he got Rag is already on. Probably. Hmm. Okay, right. what are you going to do? Anyways, he's going to step and then cast the electric arc onto the gargoyle. And my god, oh, sorry, wrong person, but you get the idea. Oh, wait. Cut out the gargoyle sheet. Reflex. And then I'm going to roll for athletics to see if I can get up. If he doesn't. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah, you gotta work on your arm days, man. So let's see here. You got a 23 rounding up. That's half damage. He'll take five. He is still up. Twinkle. Gotcha. And let's find the arrow. Can I hear a point at 14? I know that's not going to hit. Days is not an attack roll, so we'll save. Okay. All right. He's got a 20, so success. He takes the one damage. He's still near death. Little Horn, your go. So I can cast days while I'm invisible? Uh, no, you cannot. Well, yes, you can, but level two invisibility, uh, you'll get out of your invisibility because it's a hostile action. Uh, hostile, not attack. Okay. 21, that is a hit, and like the rest, you swap this thing into pieces. 
and that was the last of them. Everything goes into dust and a breeze just sweeps by and just pushes everything across the ground like nothing ever happened. You guys won the encounter. That's right. Jeez. And That's knowing you guys right. have do have time to get up here and nothing will more yeah, than likely happen. Because eventually yeah, you guys get up here. Another, uh, uh, no. No need it. <laughs> you certain? I am certain. Did you check? Let me check. Uh, it says right here, you're good. Oh, sure. So within this room, you see a bunch of pile of treasures and trying to scroll to where that is at. Ah, gotcha. Amongst the gargoyles' possessions are a spyglass, 50 feet of rope, a low graded shield, a potion of, where is it? Ah, there you go. Found some holy water. Holy water. That belongs to my friend. A you minor sturdy shield. That belongs to my friend. We must return it to her. Holy water. Hmm. Holy water. A moderate ghost charge. That's a bomb. Yep. 12, 20 arrows. A short bow. It is a lot friend. in here. Yeah, my arrows. And oh, a magical friend. hide armor. Ooh, who is that? Oh, that goes to cold too. No, I'm sorry, little horn. Little horn. Oh, little horn cannot wear. It is medium size. Oh. Too bad. So he needs to uh, get a hand crafter to make it large. A one size fits all kind of deal? Nope. It won't even fit a, a pixie, which is like three feet tall. Question, if I were to wear that, does the, does the armor bonus apply to Gossarag? That is a very good question. I don't think so. Because your armor does not even scale normally with him. So, Because your armor is different from his armor already. True. So, yeah, it would not scale. And what one more item? What is it? What is it? Where is it? At? There we go. And a potion of oh elixir. Cat eyes elixir. Cat eye elixir. Huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. And. Yeah. Oh. We can end the session right here, and I'll recap you guys back on the tools you guys gathered up, the holy water, to go talk to the halfling girl, who never gave you her name. No, well, she was very compatible, but she's my friend, and we must return this to her. <laughs> yeah, and we will uh, do that. Otherwise, everyone did great today. I think we handled that gargoyle situation really well. Yeah. I don't know. I felt like a little tiny there in the Harlem Knights. <laughs> oh, yeah. Who's, oh, yeah. Real quick. Who is taking what so I can take whatever I need out of the party loot? I will copy and paste uh, it in the chat uh, again. From that stuff, um, it could go to the party loot. I just, in my inventory, I kept. The stuff I found while I was searching around, which is a semi precious stone leaden, leaden, leaden leg. Leaden leg? The mesmerizing, yeah, leading leg. The oh, the poison thing. Yeah, the poison and the mesmerizing opal. Two people were talking at once. Uh, what's the question? One person at a time? No, I was telling you what I, uh, what I, kept. I only kept the stuff that I was searching. 
that I found while I was searching by myself. Oh, okay, gotcha. Everything else is party loot. Cool. All right, I'll make sure I'll copy and paste that into party loot. And yeah, so if anybody has any questions, we can end it right here. Next session will be Friday. All right. Oh, yeah, I did great. Yeah, you guys survived, so that's pretty good. You guys making some good headway and good time. Yeah, well, that's right. as hard as they, as that other guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's just oh. going to get harder from here, yeah. but you guys got it. Teamwork, cooperation, that's all you guys need. And some luck. Don't get the luck. Well, a lot of luck. Ha. Huh. Well, well, I'll catch you guys later. Good night. Good night. Good night. Yeah, good night.